That is good. That is good. Daddy is on his lunch break. It's lunch break time, guys. I got the AC on 74 degrees. 74 degrees in Manhattan. Wow, look at this. Look at these skies. It looks like some serious, um, serious shit is coming down the pike. Now those clouds don't look good. Those clouds do not look good, guys. Not at all. Oh. I just want to relax. I want to relax a little bit. Take the edge off the day. Take the edge off this day. I had a humongous, I had a humongous uh, sushi bowl. I ate that. That was very delicious. I'm thinking about going out to Michelle's tonight. Maybe doing some dancing. Maybe driving back. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. Wait, it's cloudy and cold here again. Really? It's not cold here. It's like it's 74 degrees. It's 74. It's it's a really nice day. It's just that the, the friggin' the clouds, you know. I'm gonna turn the camera because I don't want you guys seeing me smoking. I didn't have a big lunch. I mean, it was a sushi bowl. It was pretty big. The sushi bowls, the sushi bowls aren't, aren't really good for you. You know, they, there was an article that came out maybe four or five years ago about how most people, when they go out for sushi, they're eating more calories in sushi than they are from like a, a number one from McDonald's, you know? Fanta, what was up with your, with your community post? Are you having a problem with Jeb? You want me to flip the camera? What? You, why? I'm just chilling. Just chilling, relaxing. We're right on the East River, having a great time. Great time. When I was, when I was in Florida, when I was working for that company, they gave me a per diem, and every night I was eating sushi bowls. I had to have gained like 300 pounds. It was crazy. Hey, what's up, uh, Kelly W? How are you? LL, how are you? No, I don't have any issues with Jeb. No way. Oh, okay. Cause it, it sounded like that. I was like, what, I was like, what happened? Jeb's a great guy. If I if I can promote anyone's channel, it's, it's Jeb. Jeb's a good guy. Michelle went live. She had a great live stream, I'm assuming. I missed half of it. They was running around this job getting prepared for something that's going to happen a year from now. And it's like, hurry up, hurry up. For what? It's going to happen in a year. Anyway. <clears throat> Feels better when you see the person that's talking. Well, I, I, I don't want to show you guys me smoking. I'm smoking right now. And I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that. Oh, thank you, Kelly W. Yeah, I, I, people people compliment me on my beard all the time. There was this one girl at, when my mother was in the hospital. Uh, I'm sorry, a nurse. And she was like, you have a fabulous beard. I'm like, are you just saying that because you feel bad for me and my mom's dying? She goes, no, it's because you're hot. Yep. No, it was just because it was my brother's birthday, so I had... Okay, that's awesome. You know, another year on planet Earth with loved ones. That's amazing. And trust me, I know how amazing it is because, you know, when you lose someone that you love and they never come back, it's like, you know... I hope there's many, many more. HW, how are you? Thank you, Kelly. 
Thank you. Take care, LL. It's very nice meeting you. Very, very nice. Please come back. Please come back. I'll be going. I'll be going home soon. I'm just waiting. It's right now. It's um. It's 12:30 on the East Coast. I'm just waiting for more instructions. I'm I'm, I'm charging up my phone, getting stuff ready to go. Yeah, we need we need more people here, like more good people, and I, I appreciate the, the the nice comments. We, you know, v Vanta, Vanta. Remember, I, remember, I was telling you like we try to get rid of like as many people as possible, the trolls, whatever. It takes time. Um, Michelle Marie Delaney doesn't have them anymore. I don't have them. Oh, I know MJ. This is great. This is great. Eight thousand subs today. YouTube's really doing me right. Thank you, YouTube. Yes, I'm American. Kelly, do I sound like I have an accent? Like a, a non-American accent? Instead of curiosity. No, I'm not, not putting anyone down. Thanks, MJ. Well, I don't know what I deserve, but I definitely deserve good people in the chat. You're one of them. Mel's is one of them. I wish Leo would just come back. I know you guys don't get along with Leo, but... I just wish Leo can come back and everything would be fine. That's that's another thing that we have to get over. That's another thing that has to be fixed. I'm sorry, guys. And you got here without threatening people. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, right? Mills, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Before I go, I want to say I enjoy watching and talking to people like you on live because there's a lot of wackos. LL, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I've been stalked for five years. That's why, you know, when I see this guy like Jeb, right, I know what's going to happen. I know I know what's going to happen with him. People are going to, you know, try to, like, ruin his show. They're going to try to do whatever. They, they, guys, support this guy. Don't, don't, don't tear him down. He's doing something amazing. That's, that's Jeb's Disney or, or Disney Jeb. Go check him out. He's on YouTube. He's great. Well, Mel's, you know... If you ever need some seed, Mel's, I'll, I'll give you some seed. I got some seed right here. It still works. I think I think male seed is, is potent up until death, I'm pretty sure. Do you have kids' noodles? I have four. I don't have any. Um, I almost did, if you want me to tell you the story. It sucks, and I hate, you know, but, but it, it's about my, the, the live stream's about my life, if you want to hear it. You know, I met a girl, I went out, I was going, I was on and off with this woman for a very long time, and I don't want any, um, I don't want any, uh, hate towards this person, I, I, at one time I was very, very mad at this person, I, I don't do it anymore, um, you know, on and off for about maybe six years, on and off with this woman, and, um, I got a house, she started living with me. Um, she got pregnant, and uh, she wanted to get married. So normally you wait like three months, right, before you tell anybody. And uh, we waited the three months. And I started, you know, I, I told my parents. You know, I told my mother, I told my father. And, you know, of course they're going to be happy for their child, you know. And uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't young. I mean, I was younger. I was probably in my 30s. And, um, you know. Then one day, she used to work. She used to work as a dog walker in Manhattan. And then one day, she never came home. I didn't see her for like two weeks, and hear from her for two weeks. Now she's she's pregnant with my kid, right? True story, guys. I'm not even kidding. And um, you know, three months, three months pregnant, maybe three and a half months pregnant with the kid. I'm starting to get like, you know, like what the hell's going on? I get a phone call from her like the next month and I'm like, what is going, like, what happened? Are you okay? I, you know, I couldn't find this girl. And she's like, well, we lost the baby and, um, you know, uh, I was wondering if I can get all my stuff back. So after that, I, I claimed the life of celibacy or celibacy. I never had kids because of that. 
not because of that, but because I thought to myself, I'm like, if you pick the wrong person to have kids with, you know, just, uh, I, it was, it left a very bad, uh, that was a very bad experience, you know. Yeah, uh, uh, BPs, BPs, um, unfortunately, her parents, so, she, she's from England, um, her parents were living in, uh, Camden Town, I didn't really have much, con uh, contact with them, uh, her friends I didn't talk to, her friends, uh, I didn't really like, and, um, you know, again, it was an on, on again, off again relationship for about six years, it wasn't like I just met this girl and got her pregnant. Why leave you seem like a great guy. If if I was her, I would have just told you the truth. So, this is one thing that I've that I've noticed about people, and I, I didn't realize that so many people are affected by this. Um, there's a lot of mental disorder. So when you when you meet someone, right? They might be on the the correct medication. They might not come across as crazy. And stuff starts coming out, you break up, you know, you go back together, you break up, get back together. It was just something that happened over the years with this woman. And I, I really liked her. I thought she was great. Like, you know, just that, you know, she was younger. She was in her early 20s. I was, I think I'm six years older than her. And, um, you know, it was whatever. I, I was having a good time. She was having a good time, whatever. And, um... Yeah, and then I found out later on, you know, there was mental issues. So. You cried at work this week? Twice? Why? Yeah, Beppies, it sucked. So. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be, but HW, you realize that... My problem with it is that I had to create a life to realize that, and the life had to die because of it. And to be honest with you, um, I don't think she lost the baby. I think that, um, I think she had an, an abortion without my knowledge. I really do believe that. And that's why to this very day, I don't understand how women could go to abortion clinics without the consent of the father. RPT. I don't know what RPT is. Um, you're stressing over what, Mel's? What are you stressing about? What happened? I'm stressing too, Mel's. I haven't cried once, but I will tell you this. My urine is hella dark. River Park Towers? I think so. Is it on? Is it on the East River? It's right off of First Avenue. I mean, not off First Avenue, uh, Avenue A, I think. I'm 44. Uh, that BP is, um, I'm 44 and, and no. Uh, I mean, would I have been happy with a kid? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't hate my kid. I love my dogs, and my dogs are assholes, you know? Hey, Truth Truth Spitter, what's up? How are you? You're 50? Let me ask you a question, uh, Truth Spitter. Where do you think you're going to be in 30 years? S serious question. Where do you think you're going to be in 30 years? I think about that. I'm like, oh man, I'm probably gonna be dead. I'm probably gonna be dead. Oh. Hey, real one, what's up? How are you? You're still young enough to have. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, I can, I can have a, I can have a kid whenever. But would I want to do that to a human being? My, my other, the other issue that I have, guys, and I'm not putting anyone down who's ever had kids or anything like that, but. Knowing how terrible the world is, um, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to, I don't know.
Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, like, what am I going to be? When the kid graduates, I'm going to be an old man. They're going to be like, who is that, your grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Right, Truth Spitter? If you're if you're lucky, you'll die before that, you know. I'm good. My aunt adopted my nephews, so I fi so I finally get to see them today. That's awesome, real one. That's awesome. Good for you. I I I talked to someone uh, last month who was talking about seeing their kids again. They're they're super excited. I um I know someone personally who who deals with that too, so I, I know how exciting that is. The world's not so terrible, no, but you know seasons. My my seasons. The problem is that you have kids, and like I, I get it. I I just don't want my kids to go through anything that I went through. I really don't. You know, I wouldn't want to do that to them. Is it raining? Oh crap. My daughter is 16. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, truth spitter, a lot of people are having kids uh, later on in life. Uh, my mother had her last child at the age of 40 or 41, um, my sister Katie. And, um, you know, my sister Katie's a young woman, and I feel like, I feel like she kind of got robbed, you know? She got robbed a little bit. I, I saw it happen, that's all. Were you on Jeffrey Epstein's list? What what list? Cade and Tate. How are you? Welcome to the show. How to reply to a comment? Mm. Wow. I don't know, June. Ugh. Again, guys, listen, it's it's fun being alive, but it's not fun witnessing some of this stuff, the frustration, the anxiety. Um, you don't know if your kid's going to come out with a, a learning disability or anything like that, and it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I, trust me. I know. I, I've, I've been struggling my whole life. Uh, this, um, special education from third grade to graduation, and from graduation to now, nothing but a struggle. Life is not easy. You know, I don't. I don't want anyone else to go through that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Sorry about that. You can I get a shout out, uh, my friend Dick Cream Jr. Please. Can you? I get. Can I get a shout out to my friend? Yeah, Dick Cream Jr. <laughs> Computer, computer activate Down syndrome. That's funny. I had a, I had a, a troll account called a Special Education Robot. That one time, that was the best. She, she don't. That she's lucky girl. She's got the best thing in the world. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, Bill. Do you still date women? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, my girlfriend's here. My girlfriend's uh, Bianca Dupree on YouTube. She's here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd be. You know, I don't know if I'd, I. I think I'd be a great dad. I, I I like my nephews. I like. I got tons of nephews and nieces, guys. You know, and and they all. They all think I'm the coolest, but then again, I, I get to go home, you know? I get to go home. No kidding? Hey, well, I got a uh, kid. I got to go. Kids are calling much. Thank you very much, Kelly W. Take a, take care. Have a great day. Freeze the sperm, maybe. Oh, crap. Here comes the rain, guys. This rain is coming down hardcore now. Hardcore. Very, very hardcore. I got mad and stormed off work. Need you to entertain me. Why are you storming out of work? You know, that, that's that's one thing you got to do. I don't know if you're a woman or a man, but um, I, I get I get frustrated. Guys, guys do that. 
you know what? You calm down and you, and you, you apologize. So what am I doing? This is work. This isn't playtime. This isn't, you know, whatever. It's work. I'd say go back in there and apologize to whoever you might have offended. Not yet. I'll give you a mod later. Um, uh, Boris, whatever the hell your name is. Capri Boris. Hello, Cheetah. Welcome. I'll be 60 in 30 years. <laughs> yeah, do it. So be a great uncle. Don't sweat on having your own. Yeah. My, I love my friend's kids, too. My my very good friend and her her husband they have they have these two these two really um really good kids man they're sweet little kids and it's like you know what they don't they don't know they don't know bad they don't know evil they don't know anything like that and it's awesome it's awesome seeing people like that before they get poisoned by the rest of society thank you cherokee Noodles told me Bianca wasn't very smart and was eat. Okay, Grizz, thank you. Thank you. But my boss is a jerk. Um, you got to man up. Doesn't matter. You, 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 you know what? Have you ever tasted shit before? Because I'm going to be honest with you, IZB. I don't know how old you are. But you better get, you better get used to the taste of shit. Because the the more you the more you start realizing that that's all you're going to be eating at work for the rest of your life until you retire, you're going to be eating shit after shit after shit, and you better get used to the taste. I'm telling you. Take care, Kelly. Thank you very much. All bosses are jerks. Yep, that's true. Hey, Russia. Seasons don't don't fall into Grizz's. Yes, this is lunch for me. I don't think I'm going back in, though. I'm, I'm waiting for a phone call. To see if they need me back in. Are you against women suffering? Of course. I don't want anyone suffering. Oh, my God. This is bad rain. This is cold rain, too. Very cold rain. So, if you own your own business, can your boss still be a jerk? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Flutterby. What do you call a Mexican with a rubber toe? Roberto. Are you fr are you friends with um are you friends with Grizz and Iron Dog? That's a Grizz and Iron Dog. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to eat when you leave today? Well, MJ, I just ate this humongous uh, sushi bowl on um, Michelle Marie Delaney's. That's the North American Snow Queen on YouTube. Um, I was over there eating a sushi bowl. That's rice, that's wasabi, that's ginger, that's tuna, that's salmon, that's avocado. Very, very delicious. Wow, uh, Convid, Seasons does not like you. Seasons does not like you. Wow. You just got nailed by Seasons. Uh, fabulous plans for payday. I might I might drive out to Winstead and go um, go visit with Michelle. We might do a dance stream tonight on kick. Um, see what happens. It's Manhattan. It's Manhattan. I smoke. It's Manhattan. I'm just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Yep. Having a great time, enjoying life. Just being a man. You know what I mean? I'm a real man, hard worker, just relaxing. Boner crash doesn't approve. <laughs> You're from the trenches? Really? Where in Ukraine? Oh, Chicago, what's up? How are you? Is Kick a separate app? Yeah. Um, 
I don't even know what she's called on kick. I think it's Michelle Marie Delaney on kick. I'm pretty sure. I, th I think it is. Um, but she plays music at night. We we'll go over there. Maybe I'll go drive out there and I'll do a dance thing with her. Maybe take her out. Maybe we'll do like a late night stream in the car. Maybe because I need, you know what I need to do? I need to prove to her that all she needs to do is do this vertical stuff. I'm telling you. Phoenix. I know a Tom Sands once. Tom, do you know me? Florida. Florida. I was in Florida a few years back. I was in Lake Nona, Florida. I was building that um, that big uh, university out there for uh, KPMG. That was a that was a huge, huge facility. Lake Nona is awesome, by the way. <laughs> It's right outside of Orlando. Um, right outside Claremont. The, the, the very nice towns out there. Thank you. Thank you. Open container. Yep. On private property, though, so there's nothing they can do about it. You went to Florida for Disney. Uh, for Disney. I, I never... I, well, I went, no, I went once when I was a kid. To, to Disney, my dad, my dad got some job offer down there. And he dragged us down there, and he's like, "You want to go to Disney?" I was like, oh, "I guess." What age uh, you became bald? Like this bald, or like when did I start going bald? I started going bald when I was like twenty five. I was, I never had long hair, as, hair guys. I never had long hair. I always had like, I always had short hair, right? And one day, I used to be a garbage man, right? It was this really hot day. It was really, really hot. And um, I was in this garbage truck. I had no AC on it. And I had the window down. And I'm drinking water. And I'm pouring it all over myself, trying to cool down. I had this I had this, uh, um, this towel that would stay wet. And I would drape it over my head. And I, I looked at the towel, and I saw a couple hairs on there. And I was like, that's weird. Didn't think anything of it. And as I'm, I'm like this. I'm like, oh. And I went like this, and my hair, my hairline used to go like this, you know, and it, it, I noticed that like a chunk of it was missing. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" And as the years went on, I started losing more and more. Bruce Willis bald. It's it, it, this is this is no joke. This is um, textbook MPB male pattern baldness. Textbook. And they say it's because of all the, the demand juices that you have in your body. It produces this whatever, this toxin in your, in your scalp that makes your hair just disappear. But you have to have the man juices in your body. You know like a silverback gorilla becomes a silverback gorilla? Because they have a lot of man juices. Les, what's up? How are you? I hope you're doing good. You look well. I listen. I would love to have hair. I used to have this thick. Like, look at my beard, right? Look at my beard. Could you imagine what kind of hair I had? Look at this. This is thick, thick hair. I had that on my head. I had very thick hair. Like to the, the like, if I went like this, my hair would just go whoop. Like it was, it was unmanageable. It was unmanageable. I, that's why I never grew my hair long. So my hair, when, when my hair got long, it like, it, it grows out like a porcupine. So I always like buzzed it. <laughs> There's more hair for you. There is, dude. I, I go, I go, I lose more and more hair every year. Yeah. My younger brother went bald at 19. Yeah. You know what, Brittany? Brittany, I had a friend, Dave, man. He went bald in high school. In high school. That's devastating. That's devastating. This guy, this guy was hairier than me. This guy was hairier than me. He probably grew a better beard than me. And he was just all hair everywhere, this guy. And then one day he's like, Dave. Like, I think we're like sophomores. He's like, I'm going bald. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're not. He's like, yeah. And uh, by the end of high school, he was bald. He was shaving his head. Noodles is growing up. He's growing right through his... Oh, okay, Chris. Thank you very much. When did you first start losing hair? 
I'm 35 this year, and I think I noticed my hairline. And so that's the thing. Like, he, I don't know any. There's this one guy, uh, Slothy. I don't know if I'm supposed to be promoting his channel yet. I don't want. I don't want any problems with this guy. This guy's a nice guy. He 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 allows you into his life. He shows you what he's doing. I think he's a good guy. Um, I'm gonna start going on his panels, but he has great hair. I don't know. He he might be my age. He's got great great hair. Um, I mean, but he he's losing a little bit of it. That's fine. If you're 35 years old and your hair is starting to recede, so what? So what, dude? At least you made it to 35. Apparently, the hair you have at 35 is the hair you will uh, have forever. Nope. I'm 44. I'm telling you, I lost more hair. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, Growth in smoking and hair loss in men and women. Listen, I, I know I know people that smoke crack, cigarettes, uh, meth, and they still have their hair. You know what I mean? But I, I don't doubt it. I mean, listen, you're 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 giving whatever is cre is creating hair loss in your body every opportunity to just keep on going. You know? Uh, yeah, forty four. Hey, what's up, new print? Uh, how are you? I'm a hairy. Oh wait, I'm a hair away from fifty and still have lo uh, long. Yeah, I, dude, I never had long hair. I wish. I wish. I, I That was one thing I wish I, I did. I remember this one Seinfeld episode. I never watched Seinfeld, but my friends did. I had these like vicious like lesbian Irish lesbian friends that loved love Seinfeld so when we go over there I would have to sit down and watch Seinfeld with them and there was this one episode where I guess that that obnoxious woman is dating some guy who, who I guess buzzes his head because he's a swimmer and uh, he starts growing it back and he just he realizes that he's bald <laughs> he wasn't bald when he was shaving his head you know I just never I never got a chance to grow long hair and I always wanted like a Didi Ramon haircut I never had that. If I, if I, if I could, I would probably have a Didi Ramon haircut right now, like the Prince Valiant. You know, <laughs> if you were going bald, uh, do you start growing backwards? Yeah, dude, you start getting like, dude, I got hairs like on my fucking ears. Like I don't know why I have that. I have hairs on the tips of my nose. Um, I'm surprised I'm not growing them out of my lips. You know. Never like Seinfeld. I, I, your hair comes from genetics. Uh, from well, my mom's father had a full head of hair. So explain that. Yeah, I'm still on the clock. No, seasons. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. Funny how those toothless hillbillies always have a full head of hair <laughs> yes yes if I got hair from my mom's side I have been bald yeah exactly I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's accurate like all my brothers have hair I'm the only one that went bald but I'm the most manly one of them all. I really think it has something to do with um, your testosterone uh, production. I really do. Because the kid that I knew, the guy I grew up with, that was bald at the age of 17, this guy was like, this guy was a man at the age of 12. I don't know how else to describe it. What's your grandpa's head like on your mom's side. So my mother's, my mother's grandfather or my mother's father? Like I said, my mother's father had a full head of hair. Hi Alex, nice to meet you too. Genetics are very complicated. There are some very uh, predictable things and a bunch that aren't. Well, I, I'm, a, I, I'm exactly like my father. My father's bald. I look exactly like him.
My my brothers all look like my mom. You know, it's weird. It's really. You want me to honk my horn? You hear it? One time I went for a walk and somebody went into a bathroom at the park. I played for 20 minutes and I went, what, it, what do you mean? Nice to meet you, uh, Dan. That proves you were adopted. No, I look exactly like my father. I look exactly like my father. I've shown you pictures of my dad. Where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. My dad started going bald when he got on steroids, so you could be right about I'm telling you, I really I really do believe that. I, I really do. They they say it's this uh D D H whatever that is produced um in your body, and if you have too much of it, it, it stops hair growth, or makes your hair fall out. I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, I mean, whatever it is, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. Do 10 jumping jacks? I could do 10 jumping jacks. I could do that on my, I could do that with my eyes closed, dude. Of course you can, Alex. Alex, what, Alex, let me ask you a question. You really think I don't want you to? Come on. Uh, come on, Alex. Take care, um, uh, Shamey or Sha I don't, I don't know how to pronounce anyone's name. Samantha Park bathrooms have secret doors. Really? Do you play robot? No, I don't play. So that's the thing, guys. I don't play games. Someone asked me if I should start playing games. I think we did a poll and everyone said no. Just waiting for the sexy sun to come out. Which country is that? Or which country is this? This is, uh, we're in Manhattan. We're in the United States. Yeah. We're in the United States right now. Yeah. Too offensive all review. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's very funny. Do you consider Ellen on Seinfeld obnoxious? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I just don't like. I don't know. I I I I, 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 I picture her as that. I never really watched the show. Truth or dare? Truth, truth, truth. Go ahead. Yeah, right. Real one. Exactly. Watch now. Now they're gonna come in. Watch. Krista. Krista, me, you, and Michelle should go out to a bar tonight. Let's go to, like, a real honky-tonk bar. Me, you, and Michelle. Oh, thank you, Flutterby. Thank you very much. Thank you, heart. Heart, heart, heart. Do you support genocide in Gaza? Come on. Are you kidding me? Why would I mean? I know I know what kind of question that is. I know it's not a joke or anything like that. I know that like you're trying to like say like there is and all. Of course not. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it, it says it speaks volumes about the people that live there, because if you're living there then you support it. The people that live there are fueling it. The people Leave. Get out of there. It's a big world. I'm telling you right now, if there was genocide in this country, I'd be out of here. I would be out of here in two seconds.
It's like, no way. Well, the Statue of Liberty is kind of hard to see without a boat. I mean, you got to go like, we, I want to go to Jersey. There's like this um, island out there we can go camp overnight. And it's like right outside the Statue of Liberty, but I think it's filled with delinquents and drug addicts. Do you want me to get out of my country? If yeah, if there absolutely, if there if there's genocide going on there, get out of there. I don't want you to die. That's like that's like you saying like, oh, my house is on fire. Should I stay? No. I want you to live forever with me on planet Earth in perfection. Trust me. I don't want. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the only uh, a human on on perfect planet Earth. Trust me. I would love for you to be there with me, so I can have something, someone to complain to, or to show off to. I'd be like, look what I can do. <laughs> look how look how perfect I am. Yeah. You can see the Statue of Liberty from the Whitestone Bridge. Not sure. About the no, you ain't gonna see that from, from the George Washington Bridge. No way, no way. That's that's all the way down by like Perth Amboy. Like, you got to go all the way down Jersey. I used to be able to see it from. Um, the hell was I working? Not the Trade Center. Somewhere in Brooklyn, where we were working in Brooklyn, you were able to see it. Well, Dominic, I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, like, I don't like politics either. I think it's a waste of time, but, you know. Am I Muslim? No. I mean, I believe in God. You know, I'm a follower of, of, uh, of God. Can you take Michelle and Krista to the, in the, in the mood tonight? I don't know. I don't, seasons. I don't know if I could do that because um, I don't want to show dildos on the live stream. You know what, FC? You know what, FC? Here, here, here's the deal. All right. You can tell me what's going on over there, and I'm gonna say, you know what? That's not going on over here. Come here. Live, live, live with me. Live with me where it's not happening. That's all I can tell you. All right? Seriously. Get the hell out of there. Turn the camera off. Let me go inside. Well, we're going to be doing the vertical. The vertical is going to get all the people in there. Can you take a car ride, Noodles? I'm just waiting a little bit, guys. It's 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 1:15. I gotta I gotta wait a little bit, um, so that I don't leave too early. My own my supervisor calling. We're gonna go for a ride in a little bit. I promise. Oh, FC, what do you want me to do? FC, do you, you want me you want me to start hurting people? I'm not gonna do that. I'm a Christian. I don't. I don't do that. It's okay, FC. FC. The only thing I can do, right, is what? Pray for you and tell you get the hell out of there. Get out of there. the The world. The world is very, very large, very large. And I'm assuming you're a good person, and you'll be welcomed wherever you are if you're a good person. I'm telling you. Because normally people want to love, people want to be loved, all right? If you're, in a, if you're in a country that's filled with hate and all this crap, get the hell out, you know? And we need, we need better people here, because the people that we have here are just a bunch of leeches anyway. I don't think FZ supports killing. 
you know, I mean, I think that's what Grizz is getting at with that. I don't think, I don't think FZ uh, supports killing. Um, I, I think when it comes to Hamas and Israel, I mean, it's the way, the way Hamas is painted out here as a terrorist organization killing people. I mean, that, ha that stuff happens. That's like saying, do you port, do you support the, um, the American uh, military? Well, we support the, the people who are in the military, but do I support the actual military? No, they kill people. <laughs> they kill people. I support the individuals. I don't know. I, I don't support, I, I can't support murder. You know, I, I can't do that. And if everyone, if everyone thought like me, all right, if everyone thought like me, there wouldn't be, no one would be killing anyone. I'm telling you. But that's just not the way, how, that's not how the way uh, the world works. You know, again, Hamas kills people, but I'm not, you know, I, I support the individual. I do not support any organization that, that is, that is willing to carve out, carve out, um, plots of land because they killed more people than the other, the other, the other factor did, or the other organization. I, I can't do that. That's crazy. Yes, unfortunately, hundred. Um, I have, I have pooped my my pants a few times. Um, not because I wanted to. It's because I didn't want to poop in a uh, public bathroom. I don't like public bathrooms. I really don't. Guys, check out these. All right. So I went online. I went on Amazon. All right. I don't know if you guys are in the 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 mood or the or the need for. For flush cuts, but I was on I was on Amazon looking for flush cuts, and this company, uh, I G A N C E, I don't know how to pronounce that. These are the best. They're snips. They're flush cuts. I strip wire with them. I do everything with these. I've even I've even cut uh, greenfield with these things. These are the these are the one and done. Best thing ever. They got springs in it, uh, spring in it. I've had this for about over uh, maybe two years already. Every other friggin' flush cut that I've ever had, I, I've broke. These things are great. Look at that. They're not dikes. It's like a dike, a dike and a flush cut had a baby. A dike and a flush cut had a baby. I mean, dikes, dikes are good. Dikes you can use on anything, but this is like you know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually do an operation on my toe soon, very soon, very soon. Thank you, Mike O'Connelly or O'Connell or Callahan. My husband is active duty in the Navy. He is finally getting out next month after 13 years. Thank God. Thank God, HW. It couldn't have happened in a perfect. Seriously. Uh, again, I just, I'm I'm working at the VA today, guys. I see what's going on. Get get these people home. Uh, you know, I'm 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 sorry that anyone had to be put in that situation. And again, I support I support people who are in the military. But as far as the military goes, or you know, I I, I can't do that. That's I, I imagine imagine if I was responsible. All right. For sending your your child your child or daughter to another country to get killed, if I was, imagine that. Imagine that. Would you hate me? that dude you guys got a nice jacket he's got a nice beard mm. what's your opinion on Canada losers losers now nah, I mean to be honest with you dude you know how lucky we are as a well how lucky I am as an American to have a neighbor like Canada 
I mean, think about think about FZ or whatever that person's name was. That person, that person has some pretty shitty neighbors. Pretty shitty neighbors. I told you, Alex, truth. Truth. People who disagree with your stance on the U.S. military industrial complex are too far gone. I don't know. I don't know. At the end of the day, I, however complicated it gets, with um, because I'm, I'm I'm grateful that I don't have to defend this country. Very very grateful. All right, I like I I smile because I don't have to do it. But you think you think I'm like yeah go. Go go risk your life to go um, to, to you know to kill people. No, I'm sorry. It sucks. I don't want, I don't want to live in a world like that. I don't want any of your kids to die. Have you ever cr crushed the car crashed a car before? Like have you ever gotten into a car accident? Yeah, of course. Everyone's been in a car accident. Was it my fault? One of them was. One of them. Um, I was driving a garbage truck, and I was backing up a hill, and I didn't see the car behind me, and I just, like, pushed this car all the way up the fucking hill. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe it. Angel, Angel. Yeah, and Raytheon too. That's why, like, that's why I haven't pulled any. I, I mean, think of think of me whatever you want, right? Like at the end of the day, I'm a capitalist. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm in the same race as everyone else, right? And uh, I have a I have a 401k that's wrapped up with Raytheon. I'm like hemorrhaging money, but I know, I know that very, very soon, very soon, that stock is gonna go whoop, whoop, because Raytheon's put warheads on foreheads. That was their that was their frigging uh, uh, motto. We put warheads on foreheads. Believe that? Yep. Warheads on foreheads. Raytheon. <laughs> I I don't do dares, um, uh, uh -huh, uh, Ahmed. So I only I only do um, I only do truths. Let's see if we can slip some hairs. Yeah. My beard is so strong. Look how thick these hairs are. Look how look how thick each individual hair is. It's so thick. And they go all the way up to my eyeball. All the way up. You have to be a strong person to deal with some of these people. Or you, you just ignore. I don't know. You, you know what? You know what, Angel? Um, LA Beast uh, told me. He's like, listen... People are gonna lie about you. They're gonna do whatever, you know. He goes, just, just ignore them. People will realize, you know. And he, I think he's right. Ignore, ignoring some of these people are the best things you can do. Won't grow in. Trying to get it. Twenty four. No, dude, if you don't if you don't have the hair down there, like you mean like right here? Dude, my hair goes all the way up to my lip. Like there's no like it goes all around like my if I want like hold on, I'll show you. Ready? Oh wait, we'll do it. You see, like it looks like a vagina, look. Like if you didn't know any better. Right? It looks like a vagina. 
right? I started. Well, I remember when I started uh, uh, growing my beard. Uh, my friend, my fat friend Jay, because he couldn't grow it either. And he called me. He called me vagina face, vagina lips. It's like your face. <laughs> your face looks like a vagina. <laughs> yeah, Sasquatch pussy. <laughs> yeah, very thick beard. My my. If I I I buzz this. So if I didn't if I didn't if I didn't buzz it, my hair would come all the way up to here. And just drop down. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. You know, it is what it is. Do you want noodles to what? What's the what's the vote? I mean, what's the poll? <laughs> uh, producer, 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 come on. Well, producer, maybe I want to go out there. Maybe I want to go. Michelle's my friend. All right. Maybe I want to go. Maybe I want to go hang out with my friend tonight. I don't know. Can I go hang out with my friend? My dad can't even grow that long. Some people, some people grow beards. I don't know. I wish, listen, I, I would give this up if I can have hair. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't have hair. I mean, Seasons would love to be able to run her, her little luxurious fingers through my hair. You know? She would go like this to me all day, and I would, I would love it. I would love if, if Seasons would pet me until I fell asleep. You know what I mean? Like, Seasons, rub my head. Rub my head until I fell asleep. You know? Noodles, it's me, your lost brother. Nice to meet. <laughs> hey, Scatty, how are you? I wish I. Yeah, Chris. Okay. Makes you feel warm, though. Oh uh, no, no, that that's a misconception. What it does is it blocks the wind from your face, 100. percent In the summer, when when your beard gets like when the, the sweat drips down, it actually cools you off. It's really weird. When when. When sweat goes into your beard and the wind comes through, it actually cools you off. You want me to put the helmet on? Yeah, but then I gotta go all the way back there. I gotta go all the way back. That, that's I, I have a very big car, guys. This is a 2024 uh, RAV4. Very big car. Lots of room. Lots and lots of room. Seasons, what? Seasons, come on, Seasons. <sighs> seasons is Bianca, guys. So when I when I say Seasons, Bianca, Bianca. You guys, want to go through my tool pouch? I can grab my tool pouch. These are all my tools that I bring to work. You guys want to go through it? I'll show you some tools. This is a really cool tool tool pouch, by the way. I bought this on Amazon for like 20 something dollars. And what it does, you unbuckle it, and it's got all these pouches on it. And this probably weighs like 50 pounds right now. And I number, I, I made number one, number two, number three, and number four pouch. Let's see what I got in here. Oh. I keep my spare change in here, I keep my notes. I keep a um, spare pocket knife. I keep all my spare stuff in this thing. This is this was made by um, by hide and drink. You keep it in your uh, you can keep it in your your pocket. And basically, what it is is a um, glorified sap. If you get smacked with this, you know you're talking about major major damage, breaking someone's face. Um, I have this little Spanish slip joint knife right here. From Joker, this was like nine bucks on Amazon. This is a very nice knife uh, for everything. I use this knife for basically everything. Um, it's by Joker, it's a high carbon steel uh, blade. You can see the patina on it. 
very thin blade, and um, I use it for boxes, whatever. Plastic handle. I also have this. And I always keep one of these on me. I'm going to tell you why. All right, this is a fire steel. I put fire steel with a piece of uh, duct tape on it, and you never know. You never know when you're. Right, sorry. You never know when you're going to need one. But I, I always keep this on me just in case. Probably light, start a thousand fires with that. What else do I have in here? Oh, my wire cutters. This is from a company, uh, Gar Gardener and Bender. Okay, and I got this when I first started do, uh, working in this industry um, because they sometimes they need you to test certain things. So it's got a crimper, it's got whatever. It had a TIG tester on the back. I lost it. These are my strippers. I love these strippers. I've had these for about 10 years. I got some zip ties. Oh, I always carry a Leatherman with me too. This is the Leatherman Wave. I've had this for almost 20 years, this Leatherman Wave. The Leatherman Wave, I think, is the best one. I like the, the stainless steel one. I don't like the parkerized one because for some strange reason, when you parkerize it, it it's like stiff. So I guess the metal, you're putting another layer of, the, of something on the metal, so it's the tolerances are. And I bought this, I bought this, uh, uh, I don't even know if this, uh, this is, I, I think it's fiberglass and Kydex. Or carbon fiber and Kydex. But it stays in there, it doesn't come out. And I, I did it because uh, I can have it on me when I'm up on a, a ladder or something, and if I need it, you know, I just pull it out like that and it goes back in. So, Got some electrical tape. I always carry white electrical tape on me. And the reason why I carry white electrical tape, all right, not black, is because you can write on the white electrical tape. So when you're marking stuff, you know, you need that. I got plenum rated zip ties. I got regular zip ties. Zip ties are a must for everything, guys. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. Oh, here we go. I got tons of techie screwdrivers and uh, uh, markers. You always need markers. Let's put these away. Oh. Um, these I bought. I never really used them. I don't really like these, but I have used these if I have to bash stuff in. These are, these are from Klein. This is like the last product that Klein has made, made in the USA. They don't make these. Uh, nothing's made in the USA anymore from Klein. Um, these I've had for about four or five years. Um, you can use them as pullers, um, wire strippers, cutters, and also a hammer. Yeah. So what else I got over here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here are some flush cuts right here. These are flush cuts right here, guys. These are great for zip ties. When you're zipping stuff up, I'll show you. So let's say you're zipping something up, right? And you got like this much hanging out. Take the flush cut and you just go pop, just like that. Just like that. Nobody's going to cut themselves on the zip tie or anything like that that's a good oh another piece of kiddos i always keep little so if i got to move jumpers from something right i always use i always use these little these little um needle nose pliers just in case i need to pull some jumpers out and replace them what else do i have this is a great techie tool it's got all these, this is from Klein. It's got all these different size bits in there, etc. cetera. Um, I don't know, I always need, this is the techie I use. Plus, when you're unscrewing things, it's got this twirly thing on the back, which is great. I have a little file. Oh. 
and this 5 16 uh, wrench right here 5 16 wrench um, this is a very specific size and this size is they use this on a lot a lot of um, industrial equipment um, it's usually this for a 10 millimeter so I keep that on me let's go to the next bag all right got my stick ruler this this thing I've had for well over 20 years well over 20 years my name in here no RH I took I stole this off of a job um, when I used to build cabinets when I used to build cabinets this was my first uh, stick ruler um, it's made by Rufkin, I think, or something, or Rifkin, or who the fuck makes this? Oh, Lur Lurfkin, Lufkin, Lufkin. But I use this all the time. <clears throat> I found this. It's a level that I use. It's got a magnet on it and everything. I got some more strippers. I have a spare lighter. This is a clipper. This is a brass clipper that I found under a bed in a hooker motel. I swear to God, th this is the this is the ultimate hooker lighter. And I found this, um, it's a clip, it's a clipper. You could replace it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a brass one before. It's a brass clipper, guys, check that out. I mean, it works. Always carry, carry a spare lighter. These are my favorite, my favorite pair of needle notes show you right now favorite these are these are made by uh, Nipex oh my god I didn't realize that there's a lot of rust on there but I use these for everything these are uh, or Nipex I don't know how you pronounce it but these are these are my favorite pair of uh, needle nose and I've even I pry with these I punch out fucking holes in walls etc I love these I carry these on me every day Pair of channel locks, some more plenum rated um, zip ties. Because depending on where you're gonna go, I got a backup uh, 11 and one. I found this at the VA. This came from CNL Plumbing Supplies in Limbrook, New York. Let's see what's in the other bag. This, I found at the World Trade Center when I was working there. This is a very nice fluke. I use this all the time. Um, I got to replace the batteries, and it's a T, T5-600. And the reason why I like these better is because of the settings on there. You have continuity. Basically, that's what I use all the time to test all these products. I use continuity. It's got a setting for AC and DC, so you don't have to go wandering around... And then you can get the AC only for, I guess, the amperage and stuff like that. That's all I really need in a uh, in a meter. This is a very nice meter, fluke meter. And I found this at the Trade Center about in Tower 4. I got this off of Tower 4 at the Trade Center. I found it in the ceiling. Got a TIG tester. I use that all the time. This, this is something that I always keep on me. You want to know why? I turn it on, okay? Before I touch anything, all right, I just go, I tap it to see if there's any uh, high voltage in there. If there's anything over 24 volts, this thing will tell me. This thing will tell me, and I do not touch it. This is also, this is made by Klein Tools. I've dropped this thing multiple times. I'm surprised it still works. And the one thing you got to do if you have, if you have one of these TIG testers I suggest before you use it, right, if you're going to start your day off, turn it on, plug it into an outlet, and if it goes off, then it's working. I got a spare flashlight. Spare flashlight. This, this I've had forever. This is a really old Streamlight flashlight. Streamlight makes, like, really good flashlights now, but um, back in the day, this was given to me, this was, get, this was issued to me by Raytheon. This is what Raytheon was giving their employees at the time. Uh, these um, these uh, streamlights. 
And it's not really that bright, but back in the day, this was pretty bright. And this was like, this was the light back then because it was super small. You know, it was a, look, it's even got a clip on it. I'll show you what I'm, I'll show you what I'm rocking now. Oh no. So this was like 10 years ago, right? And this is what I'm rocking now. Look at the difference. This is brighter than this. It will, it will, it will outlast this. I mean, let's look at the brightness level. Check that out versus this. Look at that. And this thing has three settings on it and a magnet. Got another pair of channel locks. I also found this. Some steam fitters were had, I guess, lost this. But this is a really nice um, uh, level. And I have here's my 10 millimeter, and this is a tungsten um, carbide bit that I use to go through metal sometimes if I have to drill through metal. And my beloved um, 11 and one, my beloved 11 and one. This is a must every day, every day on the job. And this is made by Klein Tools. Um, Klein Tools have really gone gone downhill. You get it for like 20 bucks now. But I'm telling you, um, these are pretty good tools. My Klein Tools this is by, this is my 11 and one. Look at all, you can rip it out, you can, it's got different whatever, I put them in drills, I, I do whatever I want. And, I got some friggin' uh, wire knots. I, don't know, I got a bunch of spare shit in here. So anyway, that's it. That's that. That's all I really need on these jobs. Oh, and I have a, I have a black coworker with very long arms, very long arms. So that's always good too. Yeah, you need tools. You need tools. But I'm telling you, this little flashlight here is a is a must. Where did I put? Oh yeah, I want to see if this is working now. Okay, so basically, guys, this other Nebo that I got, absolute garbage. What a waste, it doesn't even work anymore. I had this for like a week. The laser doesn't work, nothing. This thing is trash. This is trash, but this one's winning big. F this thing. F this piece of garbage. Oh wow, I got a red light. Thanks, Nebo. Thanks for nothing, you piece of trash. I don't even think I, I don't even, I don't know how many times I even charge this thing. I rarely ever charge it. It's the size of like a stick of gum. This thing is so cool, so cool. It comes with a belt clip or a pocket clip. And again, the magnet. Let me see if I can find anything metal. There you go. Oh. There you go. Well, this ain't metal. This is this is brass, but there's a metal. This is metal. Yeah. See? Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Hey, Bob. What's up? How are you, Bob? You know. You know. <laughs> You know what? You know what, uh, Dwarf? I used to work with this guy. Um, oh, the hell was his name? Why can't I remember his name? Anyway, it was like Lance or something. Anyway, the guy was this black dude, and I'd pick him every morning. I'd be like, dude, you're coming with me. And he's like, what are we doing? I'm like, we need to do dumpsters. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because this guy had such long arms. And uh, he could reach down into the bottom of the dumpster and pull the stuff out. If they're, you know, 
me, I wouldn't be able to reach in there. I have to jump in the dumpster to pull out one bag. This guy could just reach in there with his long arm and pull it out. I used to pick that guy every morning, like, you're coming with me, dude. Yep. Can you say happy birthday to my brother? His name is Mike. Good morning. I mean, uh, happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. Guys, the sun is out. Check out this sun. Blazing. Blazing sun. Blazing, blazing sun. And to all the people out there that think I'm drinking beer, it's not beer, guys. It's it's um, uh, ginger beer. Yep, it's ginger beer. It's not real beer, guys. It's ginger beer. This is Reed's ginger beer. So, sorry. I love Reed's. I love Reed's. No, I, well, I mean, he had long arms. I, I didn't say he was tall. James, James, that's what his name was. James. I remember James one time. <laughs> so, uh, guys, as a garbage man, you work with, like, kind of, like, the bums of the bums of the bums. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. And, um... This guy James, we were working in this. We were working uh, in Hallworth, New Jersey, one time. This guy Johnny G. He was another garbage man, but uh, he was on crack. They all they all knew each other through crack. They all did crack, all right. And Johnny G, we're out like three o'clock in the morning doing dumpsters. We're at the Hallworth Elementary School picking up a dumpster, and um, Johnny G comes ripping into the parking lot at three o'clock in the morning going James what's up what's up and then he was screaming the n-word n-word right so James looking at me like dude I had enough of this guy I'm like James come on let's go and he's like he's like he's like no what's up my n-word you know like what you know you, dirty n-word like not even like not even like being like nice about it so Johnny G is doing this and all of a sudden uh, James just punches this guy right in the chest right in the chest and Johnny G falls down and we and we just took off we took off in the garbage truck and like the next day we see Johnny G with broken ribs James James punched him hard dude and I'm like John what why did you do that he goes James hits hard that's not fair <laughs> but you want to know what happened to James man James got fucked up. James got fucked up, like, to the point where he ended up getting brain damage. Um, James got fired from our company because he was taking the, the garbage truck over to Manhattan every night before work to go buy crack. He was actually transporting crack in the garbage truck and got caught, so we had to let him go. But anyway, so James started working for another company, and they were doing, they were hauling a lot of trash. A lot of trash. And they would pay, you're not supposed to pack out these trucks. When you pack out these trucks too much, you're, it's dangerous. You're causing problems for the vehicle. The vehicle's not meant to, to, to take that much weight. And if you don't maintain the vehicle like these crackheads were not doing, uh, it's very, very dangerous. So, for instance, you got, you're got you squeezing 30 tons of garbage into a packer that's only supposed to have, like, maybe 20 or maybe even 15, right? Which they were doing because they were high on crack. Sometimes the buckles bust loose on the back, and if you're standing behind the truck while the buckle uh, busts loose, and the hopper explodes open and goes up and smashes you in the head, yeah, you're gonna get brain damage for like the rest of your life, which happened to James. And I'm like, I, I, I ran into him and he looks like, he looks like a zombie, and I'm like, James, you're lucky you didn't die, dude. He's like, I didn't? Yes, it's funny you say that.
He was he was a weird cat, man. Yeah, it was all crack, man. Uh, Ninety nine. Well, not on the same night. I'd say about I'd say about ninety eight percent of the garbage industry, people that work on uh, garbage trucks and all that stuff, they're on some kind of amphetamine. Guaranteed. From coffee all the way to crack cocaine to methamphetamines. I'm telling you. Anyone who's in the trucking industry, tell me that's not true. Come on. They're doing something. I'm not saying they're abusing it. They're doing something to make the money, to make the scratch. Mm. Hey, Teddy. Moose, what's up? The blue... Moose... <laughs> I don't know why they would make it white, you know, maybe to see if there's any kind of like, like crap on it or something like that. So, you know, hmm. all right, guys, we got to hit the road. It's about two o'clock. I think it's enough for today. It's enough for today. Make sure no one texted me. All right, no one texted me. This is good. We're out of here. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Uh, and just remember, guys, this is something that you can't do. Only I can. I'm the real American. I'm the real American. Come on, your next live? Okay. But I don't... Uh, Jeno, I don't want to like, I don't want to like run into like people and like, cause Jeno, here, here's the thing, man. Like I'm, I'm done. I'm done with those people, dude. I, I just ignore them. I just ignore them, Jeno. Hmm. All right. Take care, Teddy. Guys, this is a low, low garage. When I used to come in here with my truck, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to hit the top of this thing. I'm going to hit the top of this freaking thing. Look at look at the stalactites and stalagmites that are just dripping off this thing. You know what that is? That's scum. That's drippy, drippy scum. I don't know if you know that. That's all scum. All right, take care, uh, Vanta. Thank you very much for coming. That's massager juice. Here's some more. Here's some more scum sickles. That's what I call them. I call them scum sickles. These things are really, really bad. Dude. Look at that scum sickle. Those are scum sickles up there. Those are 100% scum sickles, and they're all over Manhattan. They're all over Manhattan. are down there do you guys want to drive through Manhattan or do you guys want to um... <laughs> do you guys want to drive through Manhattan or do you want to, do you want to uh, drive on the outskirts on the outskirts no I'm not touching one season you know what that is that's all the scum that's all the scum that that just drips down it's not even cold out it's 70 seasons it's 73 degrees out here All right, I'll get up real close to one. I'll get up real close to one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a humongous scum sickle right there. Humongous. And look at the scum. Look at that. That's all scum. That's all scum. You do not want to touch that. It's 70... Guys, it's 70-something degrees out here. It's 70-something degrees, and it's just scum. It's just scum. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
I'm not touching it. No way. No way, dude. Because you know what? The chemicals, they, 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 they spray. I'm not touching any of that. Very disgusting. <sighs> no, Big Daddy. No. Here we go. Ooh. All right. This is very tight down here, guys. Very, very tight. Seasons, I'm not touching it. No way. Seasons, blow me. Seasons, blow me. Right, guys, hold on. I gotta pay for this. I gotta pay for this. You gotta pay to play, guys. Uh, pay to play. I'll be right back. Bye. All right, guys, serious question. Serious question. Do you want to drive through Manhattan or on the outskirts? What is this person doing? What are you doing, dude? All right, we'll drive through Manhattan. You guys want me to honk? Honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. Honk, 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 honk. Yep. All right, guys. 338 votes. 338 votes. <laughs> mm. Yeah, of course I am. We're right on, we're right on 23rd and 1st right now. And we're heading home, guys. We're heading home. All right. Do you guys want, do you guys want the GWB or do you guys want the Lincoln Tunnel? Do you want the George Washington Bridge or the Lincoln Tunnel, guys? Let's go. Let's go. GWB or Lincoln Tunnel. Let's go. Grizz, I, what happened to your other account? I thought you had I thought you had like five accounts with that freaking I, I gave one of them a wrench. And try one of your other Grizz accounts. All right, all right, wait, 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 all right, all right. Let's end this poll, let's end this poll. Okay, we're gonna end that poll. All right, 56% of you want me to go out to MMDs. Let's start another poll. Okay. 
Alright. How does noodles get home? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Lincoln Tunnel or GWB, which means the George Washington Bridge. All right, guys, put it on the board. Put it on the board. Put it on the board. Which way do you want me to get home, guys? You want me to take the Lincoln Tunnel or the GWB? Yes, we are in New York right now. Right now. We are in the city. The Big Apple. We're just passing the Orion Diner on 2nd Avenue. Oh my goodness. Noodles, noodles. I really don't have a wrench. Really? Grizz, don't, 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 don't fuck with anyone over here. It's just a concrete hellscape. Well, I don't know about that. Should I start beeping my horn? Yep. Oh, come on, dude. Well, if we do on the GWB, I should probably take the upper level. So we'll find as soon as we get that all the way down 23rd, we'll we'll end the we'll end the poll. We'll end the poll. Hey, what's up, droning? How are you? Nah, I, I gave it to him, Moose. I, I gave it to him. Yeah, dude, I Stan, I have no idea. I have no idea. And I tried watching that guy's show. It's boring as hell. It's boring as hell. Stuttering John has one of the most boring shows I've ever fucking seen in my life. Like, maybe if Stuttering John went out and did something. But it's just Stuttering John... He, he reminds me... He looks, like, he looks like a dirty grandma, right? He looks like a dirty grandma in, a, in front of a green screen. And it's just like him talking about... Like surely and like you know, it's like cares. It's like all these people that are trying to hold on to like, like the early two thousand Stern, late nineties Stern. That's a doesn't even exist anymore. Like relax. I think people just want accolades from this guy. They want they want him to pay attention. You know? It's like, oh look, look, stuttering John said hello to me. Alright guys, we're passing the grammar scene. Yeah, we're headed. No, we're gonna go to. Um, I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. I'm gonna go back to my house. I'm gonna let the dog. I live. I live in. I live in Washington Township uh, or Township of Washington in Bergen County. So we're gonna go there and um, let the dogs out. Maybe take them for a ride. You guys like seeing the dogs. Dogs like to get out for a ride. Maybe if the the dog park isn't full, which. I can't imagine it's not going to be. Uh, I take the dogs in the dog park. Maybe talk to some blondes along the way. I love blondes. Dennis Hopper looking hunk. When I can't sleep in the middle of the night, I put Corey on and fall asleep in 10 minutes. Dude, I, you know what? I love falling asleep to YouTubers. I think that's a humongous compliment, too. Humongous compliment.
I always fall asleep to Forge and Fire. I love falling asleep to Forge and Fire. Seasons is going to get really mad at me when she starts living with me. Because, because uh, you know, we're going to be laying in bed and I'm going to be I'm going to be on the phone watching Forge and Fire. She's like, can't we watch something else? I'll be like, you're not watching it. I am, baby. Yep. Seasons. I don't want to talk. I don't. I don't want to talk. I don't need to talk to girls. I don't want. I don't want any more problems. Girls equal problems. I don't need any more of that crap. What I do need is to get my, my back in better action or feeling better. And I think I got to get a motorcycle. If I can get a motorcycle and just live stream myself cruising on a moped or a scooter, that would be great. Oh, Seasons, I think it's going to happen. Guys, look at all this hustle and bustle. You've never seen so many human beings in your life. Never. Look how skinny those girls, that girl's legs are. They're so skinny. This guy's got some meaty biceps. All right, let's go. guy's on his phone. He's watching videos on his phone while he's riding a while he's riding a scooter through Manhattan. What a dick. Kane, I'm, I'm done. I'm going home. So I, we're going to end the poll, guys. Which way should I go home? I'm going to give it another five minutes, guys. We're going to end the poll. Should I take the George Washington Bridge or should I take the Lincoln Tunnel? Uh-oh. This guy's going to get hit by a cop. No. So if you want to vote, if you want to vote, you better do it now. What am I getting to eat? Well, I had the sushi bowl. You guys missed the sushi bowl. I had an entire bowl of sushi. What's up, Blondie? Well, we're gonna find out, hello world. We're gonna end, we're gonna, as soon as this light turns green, we're gonna end the poll. Oh, all right, we're ending it. 86 votes. Let's end the poll. Let's see where you guys are. 64% of you want me to take the tunnel. 64. Sorry, guys. 64% want me to take the Lincoln Tunnel. We're going to take the tunnel out. Yep. You had to vote, guys. You got to be in it to win it. You got to be in it to win it. I mean, what we could do... What we could do if you want, we can go get a friggin', we can go get the world's the world's best um, cheesesteak. What the hell is this? Is it a refrigerator? What the hell is this thing? What the hell is that? Some chick dr driving it. What is that thing? There's no, there's no license plate on it. There's nothing. It's not a trailer. It's some like, it's some like Muslim woman. I wonder if there's a bomb in there. Uh oh. I got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, by the way, by the way, there's Big Booty Bakery. That's the boot. That's the bakery I want to go to. 
a big booty bread company off of 23rd. Probably the gayest uh, bread company in the world. That's Big Booty Bread Company. Right off 23rd. Yep. Big Booty. Ram it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell, I don't know what it is, Seasons. Well, I don't know, I mean, like, wait, wait, is it racist? Didn't they just invade, like, Gaza with, like, paragliders? How is that racist? Okay, here's some, here comes some real gay dudes. These gay dudes. Check these out. Flaming. Flaming. White shorts. <laughs> White shorts and hairy legs. Yes. Oh, man. Right now we're on 23rd and... Uh, 23rd and 8th, right now. Right next to Dallas Barbecue and Mount Sinai uh, Doctors Clinic or whatever. That's what I want to get seasons. I want to get one of those e-scooters that go like, like 30 miles an hour. That'd be great to whip around Manhattan with. Guys, look at all those wispy clouds up there. You know what that means, right? You know what that means. Those clouds are so high in the air because it's so... Uh, that means they're so cold up there that they're... That they're turning to icicles. They get crystallized. Yes, USA. Yes. You farm Toronto, MJ. Did I turn? Did I run TK off? No, I don't think. It, I don't think it was you, Grizz. I think it was. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She isn't. I don't. I don't know. I gotta check this quarter. She responded to me. I, I was hoping she was all right. And she's she's really good to Michelle, guys. You know. Big part of Michelle's show too. Oh, you love buildings? You know what? I, we just recently went to the Dakota building, and I, I'm gonna be honest, with you, I was really impressed by that building. Really impressed. You, you want to go? You guys want to go to the Cloisters? Maybe the Cloisters is gonna be open. Let's go to the Cloisters. I haven't been there since college, since I was in uh, in college. Let's see if we can go to the Cloisters. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to try to find out how to get to the Cloisters. The Cloisters is all the way uptown. Hold on. Let me see if we can get there. I don't know if there's parking and all this crap. Hold on. Okay. Well, it's saying that we're we're on the right track, and so we're going to be there in like half an hour. we got to go all the way uptown, guys. All the way uptown. Yeah, I haven't been there in like, I haven't been there in years. At the light, Come turn on. right onto 10th Avenue. What a douchebag. Manhattan right now, we're gonna go to the Cloisters. Uh, the Cloisters ain't far from the George Washington Bridge, guys. We were gonna originally gonna go home, but maybe I should just go to the cloisters. The cloisters are, is, is this humongous, this humongous like outcrop of like 
uh, this this uh, tapestry and and it's it's a gigantic museum uptown. It's it's really cool. I remember last time I was there, I was really really stoned. Really, really stoned. Continue on 10th Avenue for three quarters of a mile. Yeah, that costs money, Caesar. I think the cloisters is free. So you see that observatory deck up there? See that thing all the way up there? I was there before it even had a railing. I walked down on that thing, man. I was like, this is going to be cool. It costs a lot of money to get up there. This is uh, the um, Hudson Yards Observatory. We should go there, Seasons. We have dinner up there. You can, we can have drinks. For a boat? For, for a boat? Probably charge like 50 bucks. Then you gotta pay for parking. By the time by the time by the time you fucking get back, you probably paid like a hundred dollars just to go see a, a statue that you could see from you know a park somewhere. I don't know. And then there's the pink tree. They put a pink tree up there. That's the uh that's the walkway up there. That, that walkway originally, the idea of this walkway up here was supposed to take you from Hudson Yards all the way out to Brooklyn. But I don't think they ever connected all of it. Someone said it is, but I don't know if it is. Getting on a boat? What? Seasons. I want to get Roger Brown out here and take him somewhere. Roger would be a cool dude to hang out with. I, you know, I, I was thinking about that. Like, like one guy that like would be really cool. <clears throat> to hang out with in Manhattan. I think it would be Roger Brown. One of the greatest YouTubers ever, Roger Brown. You don't want to do a Statue of Liberty because you don't like water. It's not that I don't like water. It's, it's just... It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't, Okay, we'll do it. I don't know. I mean, I want to I wanna experience these things with you. I don't want to do them by myself, you know. No, isn't it nice, J Mac? Isn't it nice? No leaves, no trees, nothing. It's so beautiful. I wonder what the city's gonna look like in 30 years. Because the city changes every 10 years, you know? Again, when I was a kid, man, I remember looking into Manhattan, the city skyline was a lot different. A lot different. It was like Sesame Street. It was like looking into Sesame Street. And now, just a bunch of empty buildings. There's really no one in these buildings. I swear to God. Like they talk about, they talk about Korea and China having that problem. Like, oh look, look, they're they're lying. There's nobody living in these buildings. I promise you that.
Roger, I'm telling you, Roger Brown in Manhattan could be a very big deal. Very big deal. I mean, he already walks all over the place. You know? I, I would love to get a phone call from Roger and be like, he'd be like, hello! You know, noodles. I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to this, uh, you know, this ramen house around the bend, uh, you know, around the block. I was wondering if you want to meet up tonight. That'd be awesome. I'm like, yeah, Roger, what time? Meet me there at five o'clock. And I'd be like, all right, Roger, see you there. That's one guy I wouldn't mind having my phone number is Roger. In 600 feet, turn left after CVS photo on the left. Like me and Roger, I think we'd go to like the Met. We'd have a great time. No live streaming, but I mean like, he would just be like one of those dudes that's like, dude, I'm gonna, I wanna hang out with Roger this weekend. <laughs> Good time with Roger. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm just. I'm just saying. Like, there's certain people that I. I think I. You know, would probably get along with in life, and I don't know. I don't really judge people on how much money they make or anything like that. You know. I, as long as they're good people, they're fun. To, they're fun to hang around with, and they get it. And I, yeah, there's nothing worse than hanging out with like a serious friend. You know, my fat friend Jay started getting really, really serious. I stopped hanging out with him. I was like, dude, what is your problem? Like, when did you be, like when did you start growing up? What after you after you cheated on your wife for like the tenth time? You know, I'm like give me a break, dude. Give me a break. Let's go have fun. I can't. All right. Well, it was, it was nice having fun with you when you used to be fun, you know? Yeah, MJ, MJ, they want to, I'm telling you, they're going to bury this guy. This is some bad, bad traffic, guys. But we are going to the cloisters. At the light, turn left onto West 42nd Street. No. I'm not turning left over there. We're heading uptown, guys. We're heading uptown. I think I might stop and get a cup of coffee from the food cart or something. Actually, yeah, you know what? This is this is probably a bad idea. This is probably a bad idea. In a quarter mile, use the right two lanes to turn right onto New York 9A North, 12th Avenue. Wow, it's windy. At the light, turn left onto West 43rd Street. Thanks, Grizz. You guys, as much, as much shit as I talk about Grizz, Grizz has been around for a while. Grizz, Grizz knows what I'm dealing with, and Grizz knows um, who the suckers are, you know? A lot of suckers here. A lot of suckers. Turn right onto New York 9A North 12th Avenue.
place double parked, man. I hate this. The cloister sounds like a big dump. Well, you see it. I remember, you know, it was early 2000s. I remember going there. It was a good time. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. It's like medieval. It's like all medieval art. And it's a big place. A lot of tas tapestry. It's like a big castle. At the light, turn right onto New York 9A North 12th Avenue. Continue on New York 9A North for three quarters of a mile. Oh my God. <sighs> anyway, it's saying I'm gonna be there at 245. 245. It's not that far away, it's like right up the street. This is all this stupid, stupid traffic. Maybe we're running some homeless guys on the street. Here's the Intrepid, guys. This is the Intrepid. If you ever want to come here, every Boy Scout and his mom has been here. Every Boy Scout. And then there's a cruise ship over there. Look how big this cruise ship is. Look how big this cruise ship is over here, man. Look how big that is. Let's see if we can give this guy some cash. Happening. No, I don't have any money. Sorry, veteran. But there's that cruise ship. Seasons, look how big that cruise ship is, Seasons. Look how big, Seasons. We could cruise, Seasons. for change, yeah. Man, these people... I just wonder where the hell they sleep at night. You know, I was thinking about doing that one night, just being homeless for a night in Manhattan. Just camping out like a homeless person. You know, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to wake up on a sidewalk? The cops are going to tell you, oh, you can't be here? But I don't know. Mm. I'm hungry. <laughs> Stuff like that. Seasons, are you drunk right now, Seasons? Seasons, are you drunk? You gotta swing. There's the Hustler Club, baby. The Hustler Club. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Hustler Club. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're blondies. Uh, rule supreme. On New York 9A North. Follow signs for H. Hudson Parkway, Bronx. All right, we gotta go to the Bronx. Look at this idiot. Nice. Yeah, I know, Season. You, and you woke up with a goddamn attitude, and you were telling people that you hated me. Poon Handler had to come over here and tell me, Seasons. Why were you doing that, Seasons? It's a stripper club. It's called the Hustler Lounge. 
Church or something like that. There's a sanitation department right there. I remember Sherry Kay, Sherry Kay wanted to get me fired from the New York City Sanitation Department. Remember Sherry Kay? Thank you, Sherry Kay. Thank you. That's not true, ETB. I'm I'm a very, very chill. Very, very chill. She's the one that's got a problem with everything, dude. Everything. Keep left to stay on New York 9A North. Continue on New York 9A North for seven miles. Poon Handler does not lie, MJ. Poon Handler does not lie. It's one thing I will say about Poon Handler. He's not a liar. He's an exaggerator. He might harp on certain things, but Poon Handler is not a liar. Nope. No, I don't, Seasons. What are you talking about? Bipolar disorder? Give me a break. Guys, we're headed to the cloisters. And we're going to fly 70, 80, 90 miles an hour, guys. I don't care. We're going to the cloisters. Maybe we'll get a beer at the cloisters. Yo, what's up, John Wilson, or whatever your name is? Thank you. Oh, Casper, what's up? I have multiple personalities. Casper, knock it. All right, you, guys. Guys, I'm doing a show. I'm doing a show. I do a little bit of comedy. I, little, I, I do a little bit of tourism. I don't know. You want me to? You want me to complain about how, like, I try to stay out of the drama as much as possible. People want me to get involved with it. People want me to, you know. It's like I don't care. I I don't care. These people are idiots. Why Why are we even bothering with these people? They're idiots. And God forbid I move, I make fun of I make a joke about Poon Handler and him and him trying to get people in the fights. I don't know. No, I don't know where Rambo is. Uh, a bunch of people kind of like disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. We're not going to crash. Relax. I'm a serious driver, guys.
I can drive until the cows come home, guys. I've, I've been driving. I have. I probably have more miles, more miles in one year than you have in your entire life. You have no idea. Chris, stop. Pigeons don't shit on my car. Yeah, everyone seems to miss that crack on the windshield. I was thinking about drawing one on the windshield just to piss people off. That's a crack addict, dude. That is a crack addict. Yep. He looked like Richard Ramirez. The Night Stalker. The Night Stalker. Oh, yeah. Guys, people, people love me in Manhattan. They love me. I become somewhat of a celebrity. Somewhat of a celebrity. Hey, Taylor Swift. guys we're going to be heading in the Bronx you guys, have you guys ever been to the Bronx hey wages of sin thank you uh, eat the cake in one and a half miles take exit 16 toward Fort Tryon Park the Cloisters We gotta, go to, we gotta go to the Cloisters. Fort Tryon Park. Yeah, guys, we're going. We're going to the Bronx. We're going to the Bronx, guys. We're going into the Bronx. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jacqueline, Jacqueline reached out to me recently, guys. Uh, big shout out to Jacqueline and Vlogs. I don't talk about her because they harassed her for a while. I, I don't, I don't talk about that lady. But you know, big shout out to Jacqueline and Vlogs. Thank you, Jacqueline, by the way. Guys, this is the Bronx. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Right lane. In the the line, cloisters. Take exit 16 toward Fort Tryon Park, the Cloisters. Nah, 
I don't know if I want to go to the zoo. I don't want to smell like monkey shit. Watch pandas choke on a fucking banana or something like that. We're going to go to the cloisters, guys. Guys, here it is, the cloisters. It's free. Merge onto Margaret Corbin Drive, then you will arrive at your destination. The cloisters is free, guys. You have arrived. the Hudson River it's a really nice place nice place to get stoned nice place to drink a couple beers etc there it is guys this is the cloisters out of us. Oh, yeah. See what the place is all about. Let's go down here. I think we gotta cross over there somehow. Hold on. I don't even know how to get to this place. Something's up there. Right there, guys. It's got all this medieval tapestry in it. It's amazing. River. are blooming look at that look at that the flowers are blooming guys oh nice oh yeah guys look at this look at this We're right on the Hudson River look at that so beautiful out here so beautiful out here oh oh my god Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. How do you get into this place? Oh, I guess you can't go over there. Walk down here. Fort of some sort. There's the GWB over there. Yep. We're right in Manhattan. I don't know, either we're in Manhattan or the Bronx. <coughs> um, so this place is like Phil Tapestry from, um, from medieval times. 
And uh, a lot of the tapestry in there, because I used to I used to, have to study this. A lot of tapestry that you see from that time has everything to do with uh, hookers and young boys. I swear to God, I'm gonna show you this. Let me go inside. For some strange reason, hookers and young boys were a thing. And um, yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. We have ancient forts here. Yeah. But this is the cloisters in New York. You don't have New York where you live, right? <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's check it out. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? <laughs> People come out here, they smoke a lot of weed, they get really high, walk around the cloisters, walk inside the cloister. We're gonna go inside and go check out all the sexy tapestry. There it is. Yep. Oh, you like hookers? Wow. I don't really know much about hookers. Oh, look at the black squirrel. Where'd he go? God damn it. Yeah. Let's go to the cloisters. I want to go inside, plus I gotta take a piss. Entrance to the Met Cloisters. What the hell is the Met Cloister? I guess that's where we want to go. Wait, what is this? What is this? Doors open over here. I take out see if they try to buy Tino's wood. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no, they're closing the gate. They're closing the gate. God damn it, no. No. Oh. What is this? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Hey. Yeah. What's your zip code? Zero seven six seven five. It's gonna be thirty for an adult, and you're paying on a card. Yeah. Um, whenever you're ready here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that one's a little more like New York. <laughs> awesome, let me print it out. Here's me one moment, I'm going to print out your actual card and I'll put you in. Just restrooms? Restrooms, yeah, first rate. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Do I need to show this to anyone? Or? Not unless you re-enter the building. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Right, let's check this out. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't need to know my zip code. Here's some old tapestry. Oh, it's, oh, it's a painting. It's the, uh, whatever, can, the cam, camel on cask, uh, can, canvas. These are, these are Corinthian. It's like part of like the, uh, the Met and they do like, um, it's all medieval tapestries and this is a door from, from, um, here, I'll show you. That guy looks like Quinn Darius. Remember Quinn? This huge piece of tapestry. Look how big this friggin' thing is, dude. This thing's humongous. Look how big this thing is. How big that thing is, it's humongous. Oh, oh. So Jesus came into town on a donkey. Yep. And everyone got mad. They laughed at him. I'm pretty sure I could have done this back in the day. I'm pretty sure. Oh, thank you, Serene. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, the reason why we're here is because you guys give me, you guys have donated to me, and this was 30 bucks. And I appreciate all the contributions. Look at that dog's dick. Look at that. Oh, my God. Serene. Serene. Look at that dog's dick. Look at that. Wow, Serene. That's amazing, Serene. Wow. Cool. 
Isn't that pretty cool? They used to put candles in front of, in front of uh, brushed uh, copper or brass. And it would light everything up. That's, that was before the light bulb. Yep. Look at that door. Look at that door. Look how small that door is. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. That's so beautiful. That's so, so beautiful. That's so, so beautiful. This is some stained glass. Here's like a bust. I don't know, it looks like some kind of, this isn't marble, it's some kind of like, like river stone or something like that, I don't know. Oh, this is very nice. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, wishbone. Look at the wishbone on there. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God, look at the ceiling. Wow, I didn't even see this. Look at the ceiling, guys. Look at that. Oh, too bad I can't zoom in. Wow. the angels in there. Look at that. Yeah, you get stoned in here and just walk around. Excuse me, sir. We yeah. actually can't live stream in the museum. Oh, really? You can do videos, but you can't live stream. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll just have you turn the live stream. Okay, it's off. Yeah, I use cards. Yeah, but Seasons is their policy, so I didn't know it was a policy, or I wouldn't have paid. Mm -hmm. 
But no, they're not kicking yeah, me out. They're telling me I can't live stream in here. Do you know if I'm allowed to live stream? Live stream? Oh, you saw you, you saw people with beards like that. Yeah. Jojo, they said you can't live stream in here. We're at the cloisters, so you guys, if you come to the cloisters, you can't live stream here. You can live stream outside, but you can't live stream in the place. I'm just trying to get my money back. sucks. I mean, there would have been a lot of things to show here, but they don't want you um, live streaming it. It's weird. You're allowed to live stream at Disney, but not in the cloisters. So it's weird. I'm going to Take care, guys. Yeah, so you're allowed to you're allowed to live stream in Disney. So I don't see any I don't see anything that says you can't live stream in here. Nothing. They said, well, you got to go on the website. Well, I'm not, going, I'm not going on the website. Not everyone's going to go on the website. Oh, my God. Yeah, they refunded me. Like, if I knew, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have freaking done that. There's no, look, there's no, there's absolutely no signs out here whatsoever. I'll show you the signs, okay? These are the signs. Masks are recommended but not required. And then this. Welcome to the Met. We hope you enjoy your visit. And it shows the hours and and the website, whatever. I'm not going on the website. I don't have to go to the website to get in here. You just walk right in. There are no signs out here that say don't don't live stream. It's fucking weird. Look at this guy's guy sleeping.
Yeah, well, we just got to see a little bit of it. They didn't have any food in there or anything like that anyway. No weed. They'd make a lot of money here if they sold weed, man. If they sold weed at this place, oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? I've been walking around that place stoned. It was awesome. I don't know, if, if it's that big of a deal season, shouldn't they put a sign out there? No videoing, nothing. They didn't, they didn't have anything like that. I think I'm going to contact them on their website. Be like, this is my first time here, but before then, I was kicked out because I was live streaming. There were no signs out there. Oh, dude, this must have been like, this must have been a shithole back in the day. Like, just dead bodies back here, etc. The Cloisters, I don't know, it's either in Manhattan or friggin' or the Bronx, I don't know. No, I mean... The place is kind of cool, but like, it's like, I don't know. And the stuff's like right there for you to touch. Like anyone could touch it. It's a pretty cool place. If, if you ever come out here, I'd definitely come here. Check it out. Come out here on a nice day. And they didn't put, they didn't put up a fuss about issuing the refund cool so big shout out to the cloisters and the metropolitan museum of art Yeah, and there was nothing going on when the natives were here during that time anyway. I mean, you would think they would have had all this stuff, but you don't see anything. All you see is a bunch of, like, a bunch of friggin', like, stones and whatever. I mean, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. A bunch of rock piles. You can't, you can't live stream art. You can't live stream art. <laughs> I mean, how ridiculous. How ridiculous. I think we go this way. Don't you dare live stream art. We'll have you arrested if you live stream art. Blondie, Blondie, you wanna ride, Blondie? All right, I don't want. Dykeman Street. Do I get off over here on Dykeman? Yes, I guess we turn off over here. Can we can make a U-turn. Uh, <laughs> 
drive to MMD's luxurious apartment. Um, okay, so that's going to be like, an, uh, if I left from here, it would be like, I'd probably be there like an hour and a half, two hours, but I don't know. I don't know. Look, there's a deli over here. Where the hell is this? We, we got to be in the Bronx. We have to be in the Bronx. Dude, can you please get out of the way? Yeah, I'm kind of lost. But I'm pretty sure we're in the Bronx right now, guys. No, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, dreads, a lot of dreads. Oh, hey yeah, guys, we, we, we are in the Bronx. We are in the Bronx. This is where they filmed uh, the Joker. Oh my God, on Sherman Avenue. Oh yeah, we're in the Bronx. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're in the Bronx. Should we keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into the Bronx, guys? Oh really, Krista? We're in we're from we're in New Jersey. This is the Bronx, guys. This is the Bronx. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. This is the Bronx. Oh no. Oh no. It's just like, it's just, there's people, people screaming in the streets about Jesus Christ and God and, oh my God, get me out of here. Go ahead, lady. Everybody double parked. Oh my God. I am like a fish out of water here. A fish out of water. Oh my god, get me out of here. Seasons, we're never coming here. We are never coming here, Seasons. Never, never, never. Oh. No, the Bronx would be cool to walk around. And again, there's like no parking. There really is no parking. But guys, the, the Bronx is pretty bad. I don't, I don't know. Everyone everyone here seems to be having a good time. It's a nice day. Everybody's out playing hoochie coochie, coochie goo music and stuff like that. But we're going deep into the Bronx, guys. Deep into the Bronx. This is where like, like coming like back here, back in the 80s, this was all burnt out, guys. Every single bit of it. Every single bit of it was burnt out. No joke. All right, Grizz. Guys, do you want to go to Harlem River Drive? Oh, let's go up Harlem River Drive. Oh, yeah. Wow, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Guys, that was the Bronx. Thank God. Thank God I'm out of there. Wow. 
Right now, guys, we're on Harlem River Drive, heading the hell out of the Bronx. Wow. That was bad, bad news, guys. Bad, bad news. Woof. Woof, that was terrible. That was terrible. Oh my God. Now we're just cruising. I'm, I'm gonna go get some coffee or something. Maybe maybe relax a little bit. Maybe smoke a J. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. All I know is that we're out of the Bronx. Thank God. Oh my God. That's a tremendous bridge. Oh, okay. I know where we are. I know exactly where we are. The, the George Washington Bridge is right here. GWB, but I don't know if we can get on it. Yankee Stadium is going to be coming up on our left. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the GWB. I just don't know how to get back on it. Oh my God, the traffic. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Oh no. How about we get off on Frederick, Frederick, Frederick Douglass Boulevard? That should be fun, guys. All the way uptown. Yep. Frederick Douglass. West 155th Street, guys. Seasons, stop seasons. Please stop seasons. Or maybe we go, maybe we could go run into, um, let's go run into, uh, uh, Baby Bubba. Maybe we'll go down to Harlem. We'll go down to the Apollo and run into Baby Bubba. Yeah, you don't know, Baby Bubba's in ha Baby Bubba's the bomb, man. That guy, that guy's the best. Big shout out to Baby Bubba. Yup. All right, I gotta find out. I gotta figure out how to get out of here, guys. Hold on. All right. So it's telling me to go up this way. I'm gonna make a right up here. It says we're about like half an hour from the house. We'll be home at like four o'clock. Which ain't that bad. The cane. The cane, no. This guy, this guy's, uh, I like this guy. This guy, Bubba. Watson's. Here. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Broadway. Guys, this is old North New York. This is St. Nicholas Avenue. St. Nicholas Avenue, 155th. Wow. I think back in the day, this is where the Indians used to live. Like all the. So. The reason why there are a lot of blacks in, in uh, Harlem is because, you know, back in the day, uh, the free slaves used to live in Harlem, uh, uptown. That's the truth. All the uh, Native Americans and and uh, African slaves that were freed, 
uh, lived in New York. I don't know if you guys know that, they, but they lived uptown. This is where the um, the Sugar Hill Gang is from, guys. I don't know if you know that. Remember Sugar Hill? The Sugar Hill Gang? This is where they're from, right here. 156th Street. That's where the Sugar Hill Gang got their, uh, got their start. Yep. You know what? When you beep like that, I just I take off even slower. I don't know if you know that. At the light, turn right onto Broadway, then turn left onto West 157th Street. Well, listen, guys, we have we have the rest of our lives to come back to these places. The rest of our lives. Well, all right, so then this is the street right here. This is the street, guys. 100 West 156th Street. This is where the Sugar Hill Gang did their thing. Okay? All right. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll go up it. All right. Because you know what? You're right. You're right. We'll go up it. At the light, turn left onto West 157th Street. Then use any lane to turn right onto okay. Edward M. Morgan Place. So this is it, guys. In 800 feet, turn left onto Amsterdam Avenue. This is it. This is Sugar Hill. Oh, yeah. This is Sugar Hill, guys. This is Sugar Hill right here. This is it. I'm not kidding. This whole... This whole street smells like weed. This entire street. At the light, turn left on Avenue. Here you go. Avenue, then turn left onto West 157th Street. Here you go. This is Sugar Hill. Sugar Hill in the house, right there. Sugar Hill. That was Sugar Hill, guys. Yep. At the light, turn right onto West 155th Street. I mean, it's nothing big. It's just a bad street. It's a street with like a bunch of delinquents on it. I don't know. In 800 feet, turn right onto Broadway. Like you get stared at. At the light, turn right onto Broadway, then turn left onto West 157th Street. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Painful. They're like, does this guy have any money? What, because I'm driving around in a 2024 RAV4? Come on. Come on. Look at this guy. I dare him to walk up Sugar Hill. I dare you to walk up Sugar Hill, dude, with that shirt. I dare any of you, any of you, to go up Sugar Hill. At the light, turn left onto West 157th Street, then use any lane to turn right onto Edward M. Morgan Place. Oh, the street's really loud with people yelling. There's no reason for that, dude. Nobody needs to know your plans for the day. 
That's what they do. You ever notice that? Like people's people speak out loud in front of other people, so other people know what they're doing. All they say, "Shut up." Well, I don't blame you. New York, New York is kind of like. Um, I would be. I would be more. I would be more. Uh, I would think it was da more dangerous to to be in Portland than anything. Portland's more dangerous than this place. No, oh, no, all the hoochie Gucci music. They love their they love their Gucci Goo music too. Gucci, 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 Goo. At the light, use any lane to turn right onto Edward M. Morgan Place. Continue for half a mile. Oh my god. Get me out of here. What do you th think about Albanian people? I love Albanian people. Why, are they bad? I don't know. Gucci Mane. No, I just, I, you know what it is? I'm not, I'm not a big fan of like, of like loud uh, people and loud music. It's like, all right, dude, we get it. We get it. Like the guy's trying to, the guy's trying to throw the loudest party in, 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 on the bench, you know. There's a bench, and he's like, he's blasting his friggin' music. Like everyone can hear it, dude. We get it. Yeah, it's just annoying. It's like, it's like, it's like, who can be the loudest? Like we get it, you're Hispanic. We get it, you're you're this, you're that. It's like boasting without like boasting, like verbally. Just do it. Hey, Chippy. Yeah, I know, but it's got to stop, Leo. That's my point. Hey, big dogs. Thank you very much for subscribing. Maybe we will stop and eat somewhere. What do you guys? Where do you guys want to eat? I don't know where the hell I want to eat. I'm trying to think. I had sushi for lunch. I kind of feel like I want to get a beer somewhere. Have a nice beer. Oh, you guys want to take the upper level, the upper level or lower level of the GWB? Yeah. No, it's got the turbo. It's got the turbo, Johnny. It's very, very fast. Very, very fast. And if you would like to see under the hood, I'll show you. What beer do you drink? Um, I just had this really, really good beer in um, in uh, Pearl River, New York. It was from Defiant Brewery. It was called Abominable Snow Beer. I had it right out the tap. They make everything there. They make the beer there, and it was it was so so good. It was really really good. But if I was gonna like go to a Seven Eleven or something and get a beer, uh, Coors Light. In 600 feet, turn right onto the West 178th Street ramp to yeah. I-95 North. I think that's a hospital. Expressway. Yeah, it's New York Presbyterian right there. Turn right onto the West 178th Street ramp. I 
right, now everyone's gonna get kind of beepy over here because this guy's taking up this lane. It's like, dude, shut up. In a quarter mile, use the right two lanes to keep right at the fork. There's yeah, it's very fresh. Very fresh, snobby Buddhist. So fresh. Guys, let's go somewhere that's fresh. Hmm. Let's go sit down and have something fresh. Oh, you know where we should go? You guys want to go to that? Oh crap! Maybe we'll go. To, uh, maybe we'll go tonight. You guys want to go to that place where they have the flights of beers? We can do that. All right, you guys want to go? Uh, let's take the lower level because it looks like there's a lot of traffic on the upper level, guys. I'm sorry. There's a lot of traffic over here, so we're gonna we're gonna cut over on the shoulder. Use the right two lanes to keep right at the port. Yeah, that's where I want to go, Susan. I want to go to the cheese platter place. Yup. I want to go there, get a flight of beers, and just chill out in that town for a little bit. Yup. It's a lot of muscle. I have a lot of muscle, uh, Casper. Yeah, the, the fat orange place. Yup. Get a platter of cheese. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go get a cheese platter, guys. Let me see. Let me see where this place is. Hold on. All right, guys, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna get my beer. I'm gonna get my cheese, my nuts, everything. We're having a great time in there. Great time. Yeah, no. Hold on. I had. I had to. Um, why does it tell me to take Route Four? Oh, it probably wants me to take. All the way up. If it's gonna make me go that way, guys, I gotta stop at the house and, and, and get the dogs, you know. The problem is that Wishbone and Tino are probably gonna be crying the whole time that we're there, so maybe not. They're gonna be like, oh, we want up on your lap. I'm like, no, daddy's eating cheese, and they're gonna be like, yes, we want up on your lap, daddy. You have no idea. Maybe I can ask Johnny what what to watch to let the dogs out. In a quarter mile, use the left lane to take exit 72A for New Jersey 4 West toward Ramis. Yeah, it's telling me to go all the way up that way. Yeah, so this is going to kind of be a hike, guys. I don't, I don't know if you want to stick around for the ride, but we're definitely going up there. And we're use definitely the getting a platter. And we're definitely hanging out outside. This is going to be a hike. Continue for seven miles. Bianca, what's wrong? Seasons, what's wrong, baby? Yeah, I know. They're not coming, Seasons, but don't call them asshole Seasons. They're good dogs. They love me. They love me. Thank you, JoJo. Thank you, JoJo. Guys, I have tremendous amounts of muscle. I don't know if you know that. That's why if anyone's calling me fat and stuff like that, it's because they're jealous of my muscle. That's all. Ugh. Uh, take care, uh, NC country girl. Take care. When am I going to stop the live? I don't know. I think this is going to go on for at least 10 hours today. 10-hour live stream. Thank you, Bubbles. Thank you. Let's 
gonna be a 10 hour live stream. I'm gonna get like, I wanna get like 60,000 views on this and at least uh, another 400, 500 subscribers. Yep. This is gonna be a 13 to 15 to 16 to 17 hour live stream. And I don't, I don't even think you guys can hang. Nope. Try to hang. In fact, in fact, I might even live stream myself sleeping tonight. What do you think about that? Who wants to watch me go to sleep? Huh? Who wants to watch me go to sleep tonight in my bed with all the comforters and stuff like that? Me and the dogs underneath the goddamn friggin' uh, the, the, the blankets. All cuddled up. Okay. Okay. You got it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy new comforters. So you'll get really, really jealous. No shirt. That's right. No shirt. Seasons is going to get very uncomfortable. And I'm going to wear my brand new black boxer briefs. Brand new black boxer briefs so you can see the outline of the bulge. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's going <laughs> to... No. I, mean, I, I think that's weird. I think it's really weird when people are watching other people sleep. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need a new bed. Yeah, I need a new I need a new everything seasons. Can't afford that. I will show off. You're right, big dog. Big dog in the house. Big dog in the house. That's right, master bed. Master bed, humongous bed. Guys, I have the one of the biggest beds in New Jersey. One of the largest, largest beds in New Jersey. Yep. Oh, I will, big dog. I will. You're going to see all, all the comforters and pillows. Tremendous amounts of pillows on my bed. My bed is basically all comforter and pillow. All of it. The thread count on the, on the, on the sheets. Absolutely tremendous amount of thread, threads. Yep. By the way, guys, I think I think Getting Silly is going to be live tonight. I think Getting Silly is going to be live tonight, guys. We're probably going to go over to Getting Silly's later. That's when I'm probably going to end it. When Getting Silly goes live. Yep. Ha 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 ha, MJ. Ha 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 ha. MJ, she needs me. Bianca needs me. That's right, big dog. That's right. We're going to go get some cheese and some friggin' beers, guys. I'm going to sip and nibble. Yep. I'm going to sip and nibble, and you guys are going to be so friggin' jealous of my life. So jealous. It's going to be all this sipping and nibbling and crunching and stuff like that. Grizz can't do that. Nope. He don't have teeth. Yep. You don't have much of anything. Oh, nuts. Nuts hurt my gums. Nuts hurt my gums. <laughs> that cheese is too hard. That's hard cheese. That's hard cheese. That's hard cheese. Seasons? Who leaked my Who leaked my nude seasons? <laughs> oh, thank you Bianca. Thank you. Hold on. Are those even my Who's What is that? What is that?
That's not my nudes. Seasons is the only one with my nudes. With that big old fat D. Yep. Seasons, tell them, tell them about my nudes, Seasons. Tell them. Said. <laughs> not all cheeses, but the best Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, imagine imagine Grizz trying to nibble on a friggin' uh, a nice chunk of Parmesan cheese. That ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Gri Grizz is, you know... Hmm. Grizz's gums are gonna split in half. I can't. It's traffic. It's massive amounts of traffic, guys. What do you want me to do? We're currently on Route Four. We could go go, go get more cheeseburgers at the um, at White Man, but I don't feel like waiting four hours for five, for four cheeseburgers. Oh, come on, big dogs. We're kidding, big dogs. We're kidding, big dogs. I'm joking. Sorry. I do a little bit of comedy sometimes, big dogs. I apologize. But this is this is massive amounts of traffic here. This is what it's like living in New Jersey, the tri-state area. It's just nonstop traffic. Hey, DK. Right now we're on Route 4. We're on Route 4 in, um, I think we're in Hackensack. Big Dog, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Just tease it. Yeah. I, I, re I realized the other day, I was like, you know what? It's so stupid to... To expect people to like your jokes, you know? That's so dumb. I, I can't expect anyone to like my jokes. Some people do when they stick around, but it's usually these idiots, you know? I live in the suburb of Atlanta. Oh, I think, you know who else, you know who else lives there? Um, uh, who's that, that, that black gay dude, uh, that, from the Boyd? I forgot his name. That, that flamboyant black gay dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, big dogs. I, I apologize. Yeah, I do art. I do comedy. I do uh, tours. I do, um, I do a lot. Of, it's just like stuff I do during my average uh, day on planet Earth. Like right now, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to be here stuck in traffic, so I'm trying to have fun. Yeah. I, Ronnie Green, I think you're right about that. <laughs> I, I mean, what what the hell's going on? I didn't I didn't get the memo. Thank you, ETB. ETB, you got a lot of hate today, ETB. For what you know what's crazy? Regardless of whatever you think of Whiskey OG, right? Regardless of whatever you think of Whiskey OG, you know, the guy, the guy's like, hey, look, Dave, check this out. I'm going to, I'm going to live stream. I'm going to live stream myself cooking spaghetti and watch the hate I get. He was right. This morning, th this, this afternoon, I go over to ETBs. The guy's on the beach somewhere, right? And they're attacking him. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I had to leave because I, I, I can't take that guy seriously. You know, and I was just laughing at him, and like I, I didn't want to get in the middle of you two uh, fighting, you know. But I watched; it was a, it was a very good live stream, you know. I bet the, the guys, this this guy, this guy ETP, right? He's on this beach somewhere that you would probably never ever see in your entire life, right? Chances are you would never ever go there. Beautiful beach, right? You might not even even be able to find it on a map. He's out there showing you guys, and there's someone in there threatening to beat him up. It's crazy. It's crazy. 
but I mean, like, you gotta laugh at it, right? Uh, Jojo, it's you know, it's no big deal. It's it's the re it's the regular cast of characters, Jojo. Yes, Mavis. Yes. Like, I, like I, seriously, man, like, I don't take any of that crap seriously, like, when people, like, threaten, and, like, I, I, I should start. They really gotta stop, man. Chris, you 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 threaten me with your you have very threatening uh, look, Chris. I don't want to look at you and you go live all the time. You should be locked up, locked up. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. What's up, M16? In 600 feet, continue straight to stay on Route 4 West. Ever, guys. Th this traffic's like this all the way up there. Wow. This is going to blow chunks. Blow chunks. Continue on Route 4 West for half a mile. Today I saw a crusty carp warship cruise ship, big booty bakery. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is my life. I, I create, I, I have fun, guys. I want to have fun in my life. So I go, I go to fun places. The only thing I'm not doing is banging Punani, you know? Hey, Lindsay. How are you? No, Seasons, I don't have plastic gloves at home. Oh, really, Krista? What kind of pizza did you have? What kind of pizza? Bianca has latex surgical gloves that he wears. Okay, Grizz. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. So, 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 so funny, Grizz. You were so funny. Well, wait until I get my... Um, my Lapacino thing. I'm about. Thousand feet. Use the right two lanes to take the New Jersey 17 North exit toward Mawa. Okay. Okay. Get the f out of the Use way. Use the right two lanes to take the New Jersey 17 North exit. Then keep right at the. Floor. Oh my God! It's all jammed up over here too. Wow! Wow! Keep right at the fork. Oh, you have five kittens? That's awesome. What are you going to do with them? Noodles Christmas frozen pizza was better than... Ah, ha, 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 Grizz. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my name is Grizz270. My name is Grizz270. I do nothing all day. I do absolutely nothing all day. Not by choice, but because I... I... 
Oh my god, this is so bad over here, guys. What happened? This is all backed up. All jammed up. Continue oh. New Jersey 17 North for two miles. Yes, it was the Giorno Pepper. Yeah, come on, Grizz. Leave her alone. Krista, you want me to Krista, you want me to order you a nice pizza, Krista? Krista, if I drive out there tomorrow, I'm gonna get you and you and your husband and, and your daughter a nice pizza. Where, where, where do you guys want pizza from, Krista? I'll get you a large pie. I'll get you two large pies, Krista. Two. Oh, is there an accident or something? There had to have been an accident. What the hell is going on? The people that use the shoulder uh, like it's an extra lane uh, back there makes me... Yeah, no, it's... That's what it is over here. People are just on, in a rush. They're in a rush. I just don't understand why there's some all this traffic. Yeah, but Chris, uh, I'll, I'll get. Where's 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 Ray gonna be? Were you in four hundred one? In four hundred one? Oh, I guess yeah. I guess this guy hit this track. This tractor trailer. Yeah, he hit the tractor trailer. Oh yeah, he's he's bummed, man. He's all bummed out. That guy. Look, he's staring at his car. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> Cole Mavis. Cole Mavis discount discount tires. Yep. Oh, this is all backed up. All backed up, guys. Unbelievable amounts of backed upness. Yep. Oh. In Toronto? Yeah, we're in Toronto. Yeah. Oh, he's volunteering? Well, I'll save him some pizza then. Tell him I, tell him I got him some pizza. What do you guys like on your pizza, Krista? Hey, Solar! Or Salar? Riz? What's up? How are you? Yes, I remember you. Thank you very much for coming. I'm sorry. I'm trying to drive. And I'm trying to figure out what all this traffic is. Also, I'm about to go get myself a cup of coffee. A delicious, delicious um, lavender something um, machada. Yeah. That's true, Seasons. Krista does have some of the biggest knockers in Winstead. Yep. Humongous knockers. Grizz, Seasons has the biggest tits out of all the girlfriends I've ever I've ever uh, uh, banged out. You know what I mean? They're humongous. <sighs> Leave the guy alone. Leave the guy alone. We're going to come up and get some, some coffee, and then we're going to go get this cheese and and flight of beer. Does anyone know what a flight of beer is? Is anyone is anyone aware of this? I don't know if this is like something that's in just in the Northeast, but has anyone ever had a flight of beer? Welcome back, NC Country Girl. When was the last time you ever had a flight of beer? A local flight. Well, no, no one said that they were bigger than Krista's seasons. Nobody said that.
Oh, you drink wine? Yeah, I don't really drink beer, but the flights of beers are cool because they're not big. It's like these little beers. You get them, and you taste them, and you taste the cheese, and then you taste the beer, and then you have another uh, swig of the beer, and then maybe some cheese and some more crackers. And then you're like, oh, let me taste this beer. You know what I mean? It's a flight. All right, let's get a little pick-me-up, guys. We got to get a little pick-me-up. You never had a flight of beer before? Yeah, so it kind of, like, there's usually, like, seven beers on a, on a platter. <clears throat> like, seven beers on a platter. They're small beers, and you just taste, taste each one of them. And you're like, oh, I like this one the best. Yep. Okay, well, sometimes people, I don't know, seasons. Now that I got my $30 back from the cloisters, I'm rolling in the big bucks. Yep. What's that new lavender thing? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can I help you? Yeah, can I get a, um, a venti uh, hot toffee nut latte? Uh, sorry, a venti hot, what kind of latte? A uh, toffee nut. Oh, sure. Anything else? Yeah, can I try one of those uh, iced lavender uh, cream oat milk, uh, whatever? You know, I have lavender right now. I think it should be back on Monday. Nah, forget about it, yeah. All right, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Get some clips. Yeah, well, I... I used to stop at the um, the Panera Bread and I would get a cup of French onion soup before I would go home. And that used to fill me up. I used to put the croutons, I used to get extra cheese in it. I would slurp that thing down with a slice of bread. It was so delicious. A, a nice after lunch uh, lunch. Yep. No, the cloisters were $30. That's what I'm saying. It was 30 bucks. I asked them for a refund. I'm like, I'm not fucking, you know, $30 all day. Hey, Tiff. I love French onion soup, too. A really good French onion soup. I, I wouldn't, you know, how like David Portnoy goes out and like tries like all these like pizzas and stuff. I would be a connoisseur of French onion soup. I would love to be a French onion soup connoisseur, you know. Thank you, Mason. I would slurp, 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 slurp. The goat. What's up, the goat? Today is gangbang day. Really? Really? Thank you, goat. This guy, this guy doesn't like me, this guy over here. I asked him how much money he had in the cash register one day. He goes, I don't have any. Hey, Ray Ray. Okay, here we go. Hey, how are you? Can I tap this? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, we're off to go get the cheese and the beer. Who wants to go get some cheese and some beer? 
a flight of it, a flight of local. Yep. And I'm a big tipper. I'm a humongous, humongous tipper. Yeah. They used to call me the tip back in high school. Because every single time we would go to um, go to a restaurant or a bar, I was constantly tipping. $5 here, $6 there, $7 there. The tipper. Right, hold on, I gotta see where this thing's taking me. Hold on, guys. Okay. It's telling me to take this all the way up. So we gotta go all the way up to like Michelle Kay's house. All the way up by like Wingstar and Michelle K. Yeah. No, I, I was a tipper. Tipper. I used to tip up and down the state of New Jersey. Like big tips. They used to call me the tip. We don't take tips here. I said, really? I said, you don't tip? Or you don't take tips? I, that, that happened to me one time. I saw a guy, I went to this deli and I, I gave the guy like a $20 tip. He's like, what is this for? I was like, it's a tip. He goes, oh, we don't accept tips here. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm never coming back here ever again. Continue straight onto New Jersey 17 yep. North. Thank you, Scott King. Oh wow, they made this extra rich. Wow. Mm. They did a really, really good job making this extra rich. That barista in there was spot on. Great barista at the um, at the uh, Starbucks in uh, in Paramus. Great job. Hey Lou Rock, what's up? Wow. Yeah, Seasons. Ask Seasons about me. Ask Seasons about me. She got the full experience. The full experience. She sucked my insides out. Yep. Mmm. Very, very delicious. Extremely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That is so rich and so much flavor. So much flavor. Yep. <laughs> Do you, Lou? Lou, where have you been, man? I I I haven't seen you in Yeah, dude, I haven't seen you in like what three years. I haven't seen you in three years, Lou. I hope you're doing all right. Lou, are, are you, are you, um, are you like involved with the, the still with the paranormal stuff? Guys, make sure you sub up to Lou Rock. Guys, find make guys get the fake Lou Rock out of here. Get the let the real one stay, please. Let the real Lou Rock stay. No, you were not, Lou. You were not. Guys, can someone please get to the bottom of this with the fake Lou Rock? Please. Popsicle, how are you? We're going to go get a flight of beer and a freaking plate of cheese. Yep. Wait, what is this poll? Should... New, should sucking one's insides out get a 
<laughs> well, that's what happened. That's totally what happened. I'm not even making that up. It was a total slurp, slurp fest in Portland. Big time slurp fest. And again, for the youngsters in the audience, on the you know, we're not talking about um, anything else except uh, uh, slurpees, and ice cream. Yep. Thank you. Why do all of people have a pick of uh, your tip? Your tip. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Lou, Lou, you got it all. No. Lou, back in high school, they used to call me the tip because I used to tip everywhere I went. Everywhere I went. If I went to a bar, $20 on the bar. That's for you. That's for you, sweetheart. Keep, keep them coming. Keep them coming. That's that's what I that's what I was like back in high school. They used to call me the tip. Yep. Yep. Ice cream, guys. We'll be there in a few minutes. Hopefully, there's no traffic up Route 17 right now. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, midnight dog. What's up? What's up, Midnight Dog? Right, the Big Tipper, right. I know why you're called the tip. I can pick, you will laugh. Lou? Lou? Lou, please stop, Lou. You're getting me nervous. And who gave you a wrench? Who gave you a wrench, Lou? Oh, I think one of our wrenches must have changed their avatar and their name. Huh. Grizz, is that you? Grizz? Grizz? You just messed up, Grizz. Yeah. Yeah, right, Lou Rock. That ain't the real Lou Rock. Guys, click on that avatar and tell me if that's the Lou that's the real Lou Rock. <laughs> all right, Lou Rock, it's alright. I don't care. I miss you, Lou Rock. I'm glad you're back. Yep. Glad you're back. Oh, really? Oh, Lou, welcome, man. I didn't know if it was you. <laughs> Lou, I can't wait. I can't wait. Unfortunately, not tonight. I'm trying out this new thing. <clears throat> we're going to do horizontal uh, live streaming. Uh, and we're going to invite guests up. We can do the. I, I got to test it out. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it at work because it kept going in and out of reception. Drive if you're... Oh, that's very funny. Okay, Tony Smith, thank you. Streaking? No. Streaking or streaming? I don't know. I don't know what you're getting at, Lou Rock. Mmm. Extremely delicious. Extremely, extremely delicious, guys. This this Starbucks idea of me stopping stopping at Starbucks and getting a hot fresh one, perfect, absolutely perfect. Yep. Oh. Yeah, Lou, you were always cool to me, Lou. You were always cool to me, Lou. If you're still doing, if you're still doing that spirit box stuff, are are you friendly with um, PDX? PDX Paranormal, Lou. Sounds like you are still possessed, Lou. <laughs> Lou Rock in the house. Lou Rock. 
I'm not going to crash. I got multiple driver's licenses. There was a guy behind me. He has white, curly, long hair. Thank God I don't have that. Thank God. Oh. Uh. Oh, really? Mm. Well, that's, that's kind of what I remember you doing back in the day. There was another Lou. Whatever happened to Lou Stefano? Lou Stefano, like, dropped off the face of the earth. The salty rant guy. I haven't seen him in, like, in years. He was one of, he was one of the first people that I met that came over here. It was Lou Stefano. Oh, it's a fake sea breeze. Yeah, I don't need these fakers around here, man. Uh, this is a real show. Hey, Mama Rock. How are you? So anyway, guys, we're going to like... Um, this, I guess this is upstate New York. We're going to go to upstate New York. I'm going to get this flight of beer. It's a good time. They let you sit outside. You, dr you eat and drink your beer. You get your cheese, etc. They make they make good sandwiches there too. They make fabulous sandwiches. Very very good. Yep. All right, so we're at a hundred votes right now, guys. I think I'm gonna end this. I think I'm gonna end this uh, vote. I think we should end the poll. I'm just waiting for the last vote. So we're at 99 votes right now. I was waiting for the last vote. Okay, we're going to end it. Yes, 55% of you say yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, sucking ones insides out, get a thumbs up. Yes. Yep. Which is your favorite beer noodles? So, I don't know. They have... Uh, so, this place, right? It's it's a, it's a... It's not like a... They, they sell all local beers. So, whatever they have on tap at the time is what they give you. So it's usually Inspire. beers from like. Use the left two lanes to take the New Jersey 17 North I-287 North exit toward I-87. It's usually beers from like upstate New York. You know, local cheeses, local beers, stuff like that. It's very very delicious. Right now we're on the border of um, of the New York Thruway and Route 17 in Mawa, New Jersey. Yep. And up here, guys, this is where they're filming the new uh, Bob Dylan movie. Up here. Yep. The new Bob Dylan movie. Starring Bob Dylan. That's where we should go after this. After we have our cheese platter and our beers, we should go see the new Bob Dylan, uh, where they're filming the new Bob Dylan movie. Yeah, Lou, how long have you been on YouTube for? You've been on YouTube for a very long time. 100% an OG. I mean, you're not an OG like like Anderson Henderson or like like garbage like that. I'm like, you're really doing it. You're a real entertainer. Wingstar mentioned that too. Yeah, that's that's why I know about it, because Wingstar says something. That's why I wanted to get involved with Wingstar. Like, Wingstar's like, no, I can't. I, I can't. I'm like, why? Like, Wingstar's boy, guys. I, I don't know, I don't, you know, I don't know why she's, like, so, like, anti this. She's like, Jake's gonna get mad at me. Jake? Who cares? Who is Jake to you, Wingstar? I don't get it. Use the left two lanes to take the New Jersey 17 North exit, then keep left at the fork. Like Wingstar could come up with a, with a with a day plan for me. She's like, all right, you're gonna wake up at five. Keep left at the fork. You're gonna start your live stream at six. You're gonna get into Manhattan by seven. All right. You're gonna you're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. Then you're gonna go do this. Then you're gonna go do that. And that's your day. 
That's what I needed Wingstar for. That's it, Wingstar. That's all I needed you for, Wingstar. Like a criteria. Or terrier. Yep. Dominic. 12 years, really. In a quarter mile, use the left two lanes to take the I-87. Well, you did a lot, you did a lot better than toward New York Thruway, Albany. Lou, you, you did a lot better than, than this other idiot that I know has been on YouTube for 16 years. You want to talk about a dead channel. So guys, right now we are on the New York State Thruway. This is the entrance to the New York State Thruway. And we're gonna hit it hard. Hit it hard, guys. Look at the mountains. Yup, we went from city to mountain. Very, oh my God, oh my God. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, yup. Hey, what's up, Muhammad? Welcome, brother Muhammad. Yeah. Big brother Muhammad. Yeah. Where are you headed? You on a road trip? Actually, no, I'm headed back from work, but I decided to stay out a little bit longer. I'm going to go to a, a local restaurant. Beer uh, has be uh, flights of beer and cheese. Now I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna be like, mm, this is so so good. Mm. Oh, so delicious! You know, stuff like that. All right, let me get out of here. Use the right two lanes to take exit 15. All right, we get it. We get it. We get it. Turn left onto New York. All right, sorry guys. Oh man. Nice. You excited to enjoy your weekend and be sure to wear green on Sunday. It's Sunday? That's right. We're going to go. Guys, I forgot about that. We're going to go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Pearl River, New York. We're going to live stream the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I forgot about it. Oh, maybe it's not Saturday. Maybe, maybe it's next week. They usually have it like after. But we should go film a St. Patrick's Day Parade. So this is the rural back streets of upstate New York, guys. Very rural. Very, very rural. Very, very desolate. This is like where, like, uh, like Taylor Swift or someone would have grown up. It'd been like this, like, really like this, like, like one one horse town type place. With nothing much going on and just dreams of being an absolute superstar, you know, and finally making it, yeah, okay, how do you make an Irish car bomb, Seasons? I don't know if I want to get drunk, I don't, I don't like getting drunk, because then I get that. I get tired and, and all out of control and boozy. So beautiful. Waterton. Um, where's Waterton? We're like we're like kind of like in Rockland County. Uh, suffering. This is actually where the Jehovah's Witnesses up here, where they like um, built their new Bethel or whatever it is, their new watchtower place. It's like 120 acres or something like that. It's, it's a crazy amount of property they bought. I think it was built back in 2009. 
the old Jehovah's Witness facility in, in Brooklyn, I was looking that up today, because me and one of the guys at work were talking about it. It's called um, Something Heights. And uh, we used to do a job there. They shut it down because Google Google was supposed to buy the place. Google was going to buy this place. The, 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 the deal fell through. Now this building is just sitting there. It could house, and when I mean house, like people can live there, 2,000 people. 2,000 people. You know? That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of people in, in, in Brooklyn living in one place. Hey guys, we are here. We are here. We just got to park. Yeah, we got to park over here. Okay. Out by Cooperstown? Oh, from, from Cooperstown. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Guys, I'm gonna have to end this. Oh, no. I gotta go take care of something. Oh, no. Alright, guys. I'm Guys, I'm gonna have to end this. I'm gonna go live in about, like, half an hour. I'm sorry, guys. Let me end this. We'll go live in about half an hour from this place, I promise you, I promise you, I'm so sorry. I promise, guys, all right? It's my fault, I forgot all about this, I just got the text message. Um, I gotta go take care of this, I'll be back in half an hour, and we're gonna go live from this place, we're gonna eat all the cheeses and drink all the beers, I promise you, okay? I promise you. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye. Oops, I forgot all about it.